Oh yeah, here we go. Getting ready for the stream, just doing a social media blast. Gonna finish off our Vintage Computer Federation animation today. Getting psyched for VCF East. One last social media blast here, guys, and we'll be ready to go. Boom. Boom. RC, man. I see you there. I see you there, my man. Retro Bench, what's up, brother? Lambda Calculus is here. DC's here. The Kubex Tony's here. What's up, my main man, Air Yuri? He's not wearing any pants, just for the record. <laughs> what's up, DC? Let me just open up my bottle here and we'll get started. My internet went out like 10 minutes before the stream started, so that was kind of stressful. Yo, Eagle Beakster, my main man with the master plan. Alright guys, I think I'm ready for this. I think I'm ready for this. 304 p.m. Starting a little later than usual. One hour later, I had a lot of work to do today, guys. I had to get a lot of work done in the morning. It's been a very productive day, and now we're going to have some fun. Yo, one pixel off. Hello, my friend. How are you? I haven't even tested this shot. I don't even know if it's going to work, but, you know, let's, let's get this party started. All right, uh, look, it's looking good, guys. What's up, everyone? What is up, everyone? Mic check, one, two. Looking good on the mic check. I hear music. I hear some alien breed. Bring on the breed. What's up, everyone? The kombucha's flowing. Life is good. Yo, the horse is in the house. What's up, horse? Great to see you, man. Yeah, key is looking pretty good. I Again, it was a little kind of stressful because I had no internet service for like 10 minutes before the stream. So I was like, oh, maybe not going to stream today, but we're looking pretty good. Lambda, and I'm glad that you're spending some time on your day off here with me and the amazing Amiga community. Thank you, my friends. I'm blending in with my chair. We just, we got the same color scheme, you know, the black and the red Guru Meditation color. Oh yeah, you gotta get your Mavic account for BCF East, absolutely, Lambda. Um, let me just answer a quick question, RC Man, if you are here, uh, RC Man had a very good question. He wants to know when the next episode of the Guru Meditation is going to be released. That would be the Vampire Demo Part 2. Um, good news is, I've been working on it, I worked on it all weekend, and I have... I've got an edit of it, it's looking really sweet, and I just sent it off to Manny last night, and he is preparing the B-roll for me, so as soon as his B-roll is complete, I will drop it in and, uh, and upload it. So I, I anticipate next week, because um, starting tomorrow morning, I'm shooting a new TV show, well, continuing to shoot this TV show, working every day, like 16 hours a day on that show through, through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, I got VCF East, which we're getting ready for today. And then next week, I have a little bit of breathing time. So figure like maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. That's my that's my goal, at least. Best laid plans, right? <laughs> Amiga 1200 Gamer, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? B-roll is A awesome. Exactly, RC, man. Yeah, the, the cut is looking really nice. It's, it's weighing in around 20 minutes, you know? So it, it's definitely more... The first, the first video has got like a lot of great information in it, and so does the second part, but the second part is more of like a demo, so you're just going to see stuff running on the Amigas mostly, which is cool, but you know, the first one is where, where the meat is. All the, the meat is there. There's still some meat, still some meat in part two, but it's more of like a gather around, hang out, and watch the Amiga in action with the vampire. Alright guys, we got, we got a lot of work to do today. I don't know if you saw, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but we didn't finish. I, I was streaming on Saturday night, and we didn't finish our job. We didn't finish our task, right? So what's happening is this weekend, 
is Vintage Computer Festival East, the 18th, 19th, and 20th of May 2018 in Wall Township, New Jersey at the InfoAge Science Center. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are days of Vintage Computer Exhibits. Uh, me and my buddy Anthony are going to have an exhibit there. A lot of our friends are going to have exhibits. My main man, like Inverse Face, is going to have an exhibit about the demo scene. Um, who else? Uh, my man Pete Fletcher has got an Atari ST exhibit about the ST emulating other computers. Uh, my friend Bill, another Atari guy, has got like, some Atari 8-bit stuff that's going to be doing print shop things. Printing with the print shop. Remember the print shop and the dot matrix printers? And uh, there's some other friends are exhibiting too. I'm probably leaving them out. If I'm leaving them out, I apologize. Like my man Retro Red Rum, Jeremy, who pops into chat all the time in theory. They're going to have an exhibit of like rare European computers. So yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. And what I'm focusing on are Amiga Genlocks, right? So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make some art. We're trying to make some art to put up on the screen for VCF East. And we, uh, we got really far on our past two streams. And we're, we're, we're this close to finishing it. So today we're going to finish it. We're going to finish it up. Mamiac. <laughs> Mamiac, that is a great name. <laughs> that is a great name. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. I am Bill. I stream Amiga stuff from Real Amigas, which you'll see here in a second. I also run the Westchester Amiga user group. We meet once a month, first Thursday of every month in White Plains, New York. And uh, my buddy Anthony and I have a YouTube channel as well called The Guru Meditation, where we do Amiga videos. And I stream here on Twitch as well. Shadow, what is up? What's up, my man? My headphones and thesis says my headphones and glasses have the same color scheme as well. What's this? A fashion stream? <laughs> Dude, I'm the black and red, man. You know, I'm all about the black and red. That's probably half the reason why I picked Guru Meditation, you know? Yo, Pierre, what's up, dude? Great to see you, Westchester Amiga User Group brother. My Westchester Amiga User Group brother from another. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome weekend, uh, Lambda Calicos. I can't wait to hang out with you, man. It's gonna be great. All right, guys, let's get started here. So, let's do a little recap. I'm gonna switch to a wide overhead shot here. A good thing I'm wearing pants, because I think they might actually come into the shot. Yeah, my pants are there. <laughs> anyway, let me just give you a brief rundown of the setup here. So this is uh, a Super Gen SX from Digital Creations, right? Um, this is an Amiga 1200. And this, give me a minute here. Oh, let's see if I can, let's see if I got enough slack. This is my Canon XL1 video camera. It's a mini DV standard definition video camera. So what we're doing here uh, is the whole, the whole point of the exhibit, right? Is to teach people about doing desktop video on the Amiga back in the day. And this sucker was key, like literally, <laughs> literally key to doing video on, on uh, desktop video on your Amiga, especially if you didn't have a video toaster. So basically what a Genlock does is it allows you to take a video source, whether it's like VHS tape, laser disc, or a camera like this one, feed it into the Genlock. Then you also take your graphics source. In this case, we're making an animation in D-Paint. We're making titles in D-Paint uh, on our 1200 and allows you to superimpose them over your video source. So that's what we're doing. It's, you know, by today's standards, it's pretty simple stuff, you know, putting titles over video. But back then, it was, it was a really big deal that you could do this, uh, like broadcast quality titling at home. And that's what the, the focus of my exhibit is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the, the XL1 back on the tripod and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get cooking here. All right, let's see. I will not drop the XL1 as I place it back onto the tripod. That was, I did not get it all the way in. Okay, we're good. I'll, have to, I'll adjust my framing. I'll adjust my framing when I, when I see the shot. Laserdisc. Oh, Laserdisc is in the stream, and I mentioned Laserdisc. Oh, yeah, Laserdisc. I'm a huge Laserdisc fan, so I, I respect your name very, very much. I have a, a great Laserdisc collection, and yeah, one of my favorite formats of all time. It's, that's so crazy. Did someone like change their name to Laserdisc, or was there happened to be a dude named Laserdisc in the stream? That's amazing. Laserdisc, I did a video on Guru Meditation about hooking a Laserdisc player up to an Amiga. Yeah, Casual Commodore, dude, Laserdisc was the shh. <laughs> it was the bomb, 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 ding dong, you know what I'm saying? Laserdisc was awesome, it still is. I, it was so much better than VHS. Amiga 1200 Gamer used to work in a Laserdisc karaoke, lugging boxes of those discs. Um, wasn't so awesome, yeah, I can imagine, they were heavy, oh my god. 30 at a time. Dude, you must be you must be ripped, Amiga 1200 gamer. <laughs> Laserdisc, that's awesome. <laughs> Laserdisc, you rock, dude. Anyone with the name Laserdisc is a friend of mine. One day, maybe one day we'll do a Laserdisc stream. That would be really, really fun. 
Lamb, you never had a laser disc. You had weird formats like Betamax and CED. Oh, right on. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let me let's do a test here, guys. Let's make sure the Genlock is working. I, I remember last time, guys, my chat wasn't working, so I was trying to fix the chat before the stream, and I, I think I got it. Let's see. Boom. Yeah. All right. Chat. This is chat 2.0. <laughs> it's not as sexy as chat 1.0, but at least it works. Um, so you guys can see, um, I got the Amiga up on the screen here, and right now we are looking at composite video, right? So it's a composite video source, and we can take down the background, boom, and there's and there's our Canon XL1, and it's so weird. There's no um, weird. I'm gonna have to adjust the exposure there. It's looking a little dark, and I'm also gonna have to turn off the. Um, Oh, it says the lens. I'm getting a lens error. I might have to reseat the lens. Interesting. I'm getting a lens error. Let's try it. Let's try turning this sucker off. At least, at least the Genlock's working. But let's try. Let's try turning off the the XL1, rebooting the XL1, and I have to turn off the on-screen display as well. Let's make sure. Okay. Yeah. So, what guys? What we're seeing right now is the feed from the camera, and obviously the lens isn't mounting right. So let me just remount the lens real quick. Alright, let's see if that fixed there, there we go, sweet. There we go, and it's so funny guys, it says set the date and time. I actually do have um, a battery I can put in. Because uh, my, my battery died, but I, I got a battery I can put in. Now, it's funny, the way to turn off the way to turn off the on-screen display, you can't do it in the menu, like on modern cameras, you gotta do it with the remote control. So I just hit on-screen display, boom. Beautiful, alright, we're in business here. Lambda, you never had a VHS VCR until you were about eight. You know, I started on three quarter inch. Three quarter inch was my was my first format. CED was the blue collar version of LaserDisc. <laughs> right on LaserDisc. Yeah, right. I never had a CED. I know what it is now based because I'm into retro stuff, but I never had one back in the day. Um, hoping someone will show up. <laughs> Amiga 1200 is hoping someone will show up called VCD. So LaserDisc. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh man. NJ7676. What's up? I am drinking kombucha, believe it or not. This is ginger lemon kombucha. Um, it is a fermented tea and it's got a little spice to it. Spices up my day a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's fun. It's, I like to drink kombucha. It's one of my favorite drinks. When I'm not on the sauce, I'm on the kombucha. It makes me feel like I'm drinking something special. <laughs> oh man. CD was a wonky and freaky awesome format. Yeah, I, I never had one of these or this. Santi Dark G, you are just in time. We're just getting things heated up here, my man. Santi, awesome to see you, my friend. Thanks for thanks for tuning in, Santi. Boom, MPEG one. <laughs> Laser disc. I like this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> oh man, um, nothing like MPEG one compression in your action movies, right? Oh man, you uh, Santi you used a G lock from GBP. Sweet. I've got a Rock Gen. Uh, it's weird that Rock Gen wasn't working with my 1200 on the last stream. It, it was functioning, but as soon as I turned on the, the 1200, it switched over to black and white. So I need to do a little troubleshooting with the Rock Gen. I'm not sure if it's a problem with it communicating with the 1200 or it's just not working properly. So I want to hook it up to my 500 and see if that fixes it. But I haven't had time to do that yet. Kombucha is good for the body and soul. You are right, Lambda. It's really good. It's good for your gut. At least that's what it says on the on the label. But. I think it is, because I can feel all kinds of crazy stuff happening in my gut. <laughs> Amiga 1200 Gamer, you've got Star Trek 1 to 6 and VCD, hoping they will be collector's items one day. Right on. You know what I have? Laserdisc. Laserdisc Man. I have um, I have the Star Wars uh, Special Edition Trilogy on Laserdisc. That's like one of my prized possessions. And it is the only is the best quality version of the original Star Wars that you can get before like George Lucas went and added all his extra garbage to it, you know? If you get the DVD, man, it's got all the extra garbage. You need it on, on Laserdisc or VHS, the original. And of course, Laserdisc looks better. You missed Laserdisc. You had some great flicks. Seven, Desperados, Pulp Fiction. I have them all. I've got all those. Yeah, Seven, seven is one of my all-time favorite Laserdiscs. But, but Seven, the best version of Seven is the DVD, though, because the amount of extras on the Seven DVD is just it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And, and Fight Club as well. My buddies and I used to call Seven and Fight Club like film school in a box. They were big. They were like 12 inches like a record album. Alright guys, let's get busy here. So, um, what I'm going to do 
Let's see if we can put the Amiga back on. We guys can see that these faders do different things. There's a, a background fader and a graphics fader. The background fader, like, basically takes out color zero. So it, in this case, it's thinking that the gray is color zero. But it's dropping that out. And um, so it's superimposing Amiga Workbench right over the video. And we're going to superimpose D-Paint over the video. Or you can also just, like, take down the graphics slider, which is your Amiga slider. You can fade out the Amiga graphics. And it takes out everything except what it thinks is color zero, right? So, um, so we're seeing color zero and then the video behind it. So you can do some all kinds of cool, some cool fading with this stuff. But for now, we're gonna we gotta finish our animation. So let's um, th now. This is fun, guys. We can switch over to Amiga RGB. If I remember how to do that, we can switch over to Amiga RGB. And um, I gotta flip the switch. So it's a lot easier for me to work in Amiga RGB because the composite output of the Genlock is just nowhere near as good as the Amiga RGB out. So let me flip the switch. We're in good shape, you know, we're in good shape because it's working. I gotta switch my monitor over here. Lots, lots, of, lots of switches to be flipped. Let's see, does this work? There we go. Now guys, the only, only little casualty, with, when I was like stressing out about the internet going down, my aspect ratio changed. So we're actually looking at the Amiga in 16 by 9 aspect ratio right now. My streaming software went a little funny in the head. So I apologize for that. Everything's a little stretched. Um, not, not my idea of a good time, but I used to be able to control like the, um, I used to be able to control like the, the size of the X axis and the size of the Y, the y axis, and I can change the aspect ratio to anything I wanted that way. But for some reason I'm like, I'm locked out of it. They just did like an update on this streaming software and freaking messing with my head. <laughs> so I apologize for the 16 by 9 aspect ratio on the Amiga. That's a little bon uh, bonkers, but when we switch back over to Genlock, we'll see it in all uh, 4 to 3 glory. So let's bring up D-Paint 5. Um, yo, Ms. Mad Lemon. What is up, Ms. Mad? Oh, and Amix312 is here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a great group. We got a great... Well, There's always a great group in my streams, man. I, I'm just so lucky to hang out with so many great friends. I'm just, this is awesome. Yeah, Play of Ellie's here too. Oh my gosh. This is a great day. Today is a great day. Um, Pierre, oh, it looks like you'll be, you'll be able to attend VCF East this Saturday. Fingers crossed. Dude, awesome, Pierre. You'll get this. Is, and just for the record, this Amiga 1200 that I'm using, I still call it Pierre's Amiga 1200. Even though it's technically mine now, it's, it, it's heart. It's heart is still with Pierre. Pierre. Pierre gifted it to me. Pretty awesome dude. Wog users for the win. What's up, Play of Ellie? Awesome to see you. Um, one pixel off. How much was the Super Gen SX back in the day? That is an excellent question. I think it was around $800, but I'll do a little research for you because I, I don't want to give you the, the wrong information. I'm pretty sure the Rock Gen that I have was around four to 500 and this was like up near 800 So I never, this was like coveted, man. Th I inherited the Super Gen from my buddy Pat. When he was getting rid of it, believe it or not, getting rid of a lot of his Amiga stuff, I grabbed the Super Gen. So I always worked with the Rock Gen back in the day. Um, and the Super Gen is a new acquisition for me, and it was always like the coveted Super Gen. I always dreamed of having a Super Gen back then, <laughs> but you know, I'm, I was lucky enough to have a Rock Gen, so I couldn't complain. But this is the one I always really wanted. Um, so I think it was around 800, but I'll do a little research for you. That's a great question, though. One pixel off. Um, I'm doing great, Miss Mad. I mean, now that you're here and I have so many friends here, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Thanks for joining, Miss Mad. I hope you're drinking some mate. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta like uh, get my mate cup out, my gourd. Yo, Amiga Love is here. Oh man, I am, I am feeling the love so much right now. Oh, Santi, thank you. So, Santi, so to answer your question, um, uh, one pixel off to answer your question. My main man, Santi Darchi, helped me out here. It was eight hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yeah, I guessed eight hundred, so I was, I was a hundred dollars off. Oh, he thinks, thinks it was eight nine nine. It was like eight, eight nine hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Pierre says these streams are busy hours with his old Amiga. That's hilarious. Oh, Ant had a similar issue last Wednesday. Started uh, three minutes late with the stream. Oh, dude, the horse. Yeah, the horse. I had no internet service for like ten minutes before the stream. I thought I thought I was done, man. Stick a fork in me. I was done. <laughs> nice play, Belly. Yeah, lunch is lunch time on the West Coast, baby. We got some West Coast weather happening here today, so it feels it feels really good. Love love me uh, some Cali, some SoCal weather. Surface 79. Um, no, Surface, you are you are in great shape. I'm just getting started here, Surface. Uh, we started at 3 o'clock, just hanging out. You know, at the beginning of my streams, I like to hang out and talk with my friends. That's usually what I do. 
Um, what we're gonna do today, Surface, is uh, we're gonna do some gen locking, man. Uh, you can see I got, well, we're gonna make an animation for my gen lock exhibit. So if you're just joining the stream, welcome everyone. Um, there is the Vintage Computer Festival East happening this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 18th, 19th, and 20th of May in Wall Township, New Jersey. And I've got an Amiga exhibit, I'm doing it with my buddy Anthony, and the Super Gen, like Genlox desktop video, are the subject of my exhibition. He's Anthony, I'm not sure exactly what Anthony's doing, <laughs> but he's going to bring some Genlox too. And I'm going to be doing like live, uh, a live demo of the Genlock, and I'm making an animation right now for VCF East. That's where we're going to finish today. Yeah, I agree, man. I, I agree, Pierre. The the T videos are a really nice change of pace. Ms. Mad's uh, T videos are awesome. Retrobench, so much Amiga love in the room. Yes, dude. I just want, you know, let me give Retrobench another shout out. Dude, Retrobench, throw your throw your URL in the chat. Retrobench, super generous, generous guy. I don't know Retrobench at all. I mean, I know him now, but I had no idea who the guy was. And he's just like, dude, I love your videos. I love your streams. And um, our friend Sammy Hallaby just got a new Amiga 1200 that's still like sealed. It's pretty crazy. It's still got the seal on it. So um, all Amigas, you know, need to be recapped. So um, he's like, I sell these recap kits. I'm just gonna send you one because I want you. I want. I want you to recap her 1200 before the caps leak. So he sent us this awesome gift of an Amiga 1200 recap kit, and he sent. Um, an IDE to compact flashcard adapter to replace the hard drive with, and a compact flashcard is a super generous gift. So, if you guys ever need a recap kit or some some neat odds and ends for your Amiga, go check out the Retro Bench, man. Good dude, good dude. Ms. Mad Lemon always wanted a Gen Lock back in the day, but of course I couldn't. Just managed to find myself a Super Gen SX about three weeks ago. I've no. Oh wow, this is awesome, dude. I, this is the Super Gen SX right here. I think it's the gold standard, Ms. Mad. Congratulations, that's awesome. Haze Maker 64 throwing down the Amiga Bill emote in the sub club. <laughs> What's up, dude? Great to have you, man. Amex Throne 2 says A1200 style USB keyboard is under development together with A1200.net and Amiga X EMU people. Talked with them at the retro gathering in Norway yesterday. Will be awesome. Yeah, Amex. That was and when we had um, Phil on from A1200.net, he was mentioning that they're going to make new Amiga 500 keyboards and new Amiga 1200 keyboards, and you can get them with either an Amiga connector on it or a USB connector. So if you want to. If your Amiga die, keyboard dies, you want to put a new keyboard in, you're good to go. If you want to like emulate Amiga in one of the new cases with a standalone Vampire or Raspberry Pi, you can get a new keyboard, USB, boom, done, awesome. <laughs> oh, Sa Santi threw a great link in the chat, guys. That is the uh, the Digital Creations SuperGen SX link. Thank you, Santi. Santi's like modding today. What's up, dude? Thank you, Santi. It was $749 there. Yeah, that's why I said $800. I feel like th this was around $800 at the time. It's kind of like the going price. But maybe, maybe it was $750. Retrobench.com. That's really... Yeah, go, go check out Retrobench.com. Awesome dude. Awesome, awesome dude. Dan Man. What's up, man? Great to see you, Dan Man. It's always a pleasure to have you, Dan. Throwing it down. Sorry guys, I'm just reading the chat real quick. Lots of chat, I love it. Uh, Casual Comedy recapped your A500 months ago. Soldered from underside. Not all solder made it to the upper side, yikes. Wondering if that's important. <laughs> Have a feeling it might be, ooh. It's, hey, you know what, Casual, if it's working, Right, if, if the connection's been made, you might be all right. Oh, awesome, Ms. Mad. So you had your, your Super Gen shipped from the U.S. and haven't tried it yet, so that's coming up on the channel, and you'll be linking my awesome Genlock video to it. Awesome, Ms. Mad. Thank you. Thanks for the shout-out. Um, Ms. Mad, one thing to consider, guys, with the Genlocks. So I know Ms. Mad is in Europe, so Ms. Mad, you're probably working with a PAL system over there, right? I hope you got a PAL Genlock. Otherwise, you're going to have to... You know, I've never tried booting my... This 1200 can, is an NTSC 1200, but I can boot it in a PAL display mode. So, just one thing to consider, Ms. Mad, I'm not sure if you got a PAL or NTSC Genlock, but you're going to have to match your video equipment to the to the standard of your Genlock, and then you may get to the standard of your Genlock as well. Just a little, little tip there. I know you probably know, but I'll just say it aloud, so anyone else who's watching can, can get that good information. Well, I don't know how good... This above average information. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, you gotta recap your 4,000, absolutely, Lambda. Awesome, guys. All right, cool. I think I'm pretty much caught up. Chat, my chat is not as pretty as it used to be, but at least it's there. It was a, a last minute fix as my internet went out <laughs> right before the stream. Ian Coogan, thanks for my copy of uh, Ad Pro. I mean, of D-Paint. You rock, dude. <laughs> I do have a legit vert copy of D-Paint 5. Pierre bought it fair and square. And I have his copy of it, but I, I think I went Ian Coogan style because... I just needed an ADF file and it was easier than making ADFs for my floppies. So let's see what we have so far. Let's load up the animation. Uh, I think we are, we're up to version 9. So what I did guys is I just, I keep, I save often, right? So we're up to version 9 of our animation and we're getting really close to the end of it. So let's load it up. The other thing I, I might want to do if we finish up early today guys is um, right now my resolution is 640 by 400 by 32. That's kind of like an EGA screen mode, right? So I want to reduce the 16 colors, which should be fine, just in case I want to ever run it on my 500, because I'm going to bring my 500 to VCF as a backup. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed this, this baby stays alive during the festival, but you know, these are these computers are over 30 years old, man, so you never know what's going to happen. So I want to change that to 16 colors, um, so just, in, just in case, you know what I'm saying? I probably should have started with 16, but I wasn't sure what this animation was going to be when I started. So I was like, yeah, let me give, give myself an extra 16 colors to work with, but Probably, probably should have a 16 color version for my 500. Yeah, you guys are gaming. Miss Mad says, "You haven't got a PAL gen lock. It's the only one I can find. But the upscalers will PAL and NTSC, and of course, the moment you can switch to NTSC, so hopefully, I should be fine. And then you'll need NTSC video source as well, Miss Mad. Um, but you know, Miss Mad, like I said, I, I haven't, like when you switch the 1200 to." PAL mode, like, because mine's NTSC natively, like, it changed display mode to PAL, but I, it should be fine. Like, I think it should be fine for you. I'm just not 100% sure, because I haven't tested it. Jost80, how's it going, my man? Great to see you, Jost. Santi Dark G, open source scan converter. That'll be my next purchase. Dude, Santi, let's talk, because I have an open source scan converter, and it doesn't work for me. Let's talk. All right, <laughs> I, w I want to go to a good home. You guys have been playing a lot of games? Sweet. Oh, the anime, you like the animation? Let's play it. Let's play it. So I, I forgot like, where I left off. So here's the animation. We got welcome done. We got two done. Yeah, we got welcome to VCF East done. So all I need to do is stamp down the VCF East, right? So did the... Did the, the V... Alright, so yeah, so VCF East. I stamped down the two. I just need to stamp down the VCF East. Perfect. Um, but you know what? Let's do something. That's cool. We just looked at it in Amiga RGB mode. But let's look at it in... Um, let's look at it through the Genlock, right? Because that's, that's what we're here for. Um, let's see. Will this work? Fingers crossed. Boom. Yeah, there we go. But I'm not sure why my music stopped, guys. Not sure why the music stopped. Hold on here. Not sure why the music stopped. Let's see. Maybe my computer went to sleep. I, I, I was into the music, man. I was into the music. Hold on. Let's... Freaking Windows Media Player. Hold on here. One second here. Um, music. Where's my music director? Sorry about this, guys. I just... <laughs> I, just I want some music. There we go. Where were we? Close enough. Close enough. All right, let's get back. Let's see if that. Are we back in business here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's check it out. So I can drop out uh, black, which is color zero. Boom. And there are our titles over video. And let's play it. So the idea here, guys, is I'm gonna aim the camera at the crowd, right? So if you come up to my exhibit, you can have the camera on you if you want, and then I'll I'll throw a little welcome to BCF East over the video for you. And who knows, if we have enough time today, maybe we'll even make another quick little animation. But see, I can fade the video in and out. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Fade the media graphics in and out. Boom, boom. Got a lot of options here. Yeah, looking sweet. Looking sweet. So, all right, we need to stamp down the V. That's our next order of business here. And there it is. There's the V. All right, cool. So let me switch back to Amiga RGB. Like I said, it's, we're looking at composite video right now. Standard definition composite video. And it's hard to work with. 
<laughs> or harder to work with. Like, why not? Why not work with Amiga RGB when you can? Also, I, I I'm wearing this crazy thing because there's a lot of physicality to the stream. Like last stream, I was just like setting all the stuff up in the like in the stream. So I usually use like a really nice microphone. Uh, so instead, I'm using this little guy just because. Uh, I need I need mobility I need mobility in the stream so yeah I know someone said I look like I'm about to like launch a, a rocket ship we're about to launch an Amiga Genlock ship. <laughs> All right, we should be good to go with Amiga RGB. Let's see if that switch worked. There it is. Boom. Perfect. Drop the mic. <laughs> it's hard to drop. The, I can't drop this mic. That's the idea. <laughs> um. Uh, Ms. Mad is going to experiment between PAL and NTSC in the video, so that can be my humble Genlock knowledge contribution for the community. Yeah, cool, Ms. Mad. Awesome. That'd be, that'd be, it'd be good to know. It'd be good. To, I would love to see that. Um, Santi, you're using the regular uh, Euro connector. All Amigans are using this one with HDMI and Euro connector. It's not bad. Oh, cool. Well, if you want, if you want um, an, an open source scan converter, Santi, let me know. Blame the Windows. Yerba Mate does taste good. Lambda, take your time, my man. You love the mic drop move? <laughs> Alright, let me switch my monitor. I've got just so much like video stuff happening in this room and just like switches and connections everywhere that I get I get confused sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so guys, what we want to do now, we're gonna pick up a brush, right? So I'm gonna pick up the F. Oh, and we also need to turn on our coordinates, which is which is key. I don't know if my man Krem is here, but Krem is is uh, someone who helped me a lot with this animation. He's one of the viewers, and he I'm I used to know D Paint really well, but age age hasn't yo know, freaking autofocus on the camera. Are you kidding me? Stand by. That's not cool. Turn off that autofocus crap. Alright, I'm gonna, oh, there we go. Um, Krem has helped me a lot because it's been a while since I, I worked with D Paint, and my my memory my memory I got the cobwebs. I got the confidence up here, and Krem was helping me a lot, so... Krem, if you're out there, dude, thanks again for all your help. You're the man. Stewies, what's up? Great to see you. Great to see you, Stewies. So what we're gonna do is pick up the F as a brush. So I'm gonna go to the last frame of F. Which is that one. That one. Um, oh, I gotta turn on, turn on the coordinates. Um, auto grid, where are the coordinates? Boom. There we go. And also another another thing I did, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but I put my old school like padded mouse pad down because on the last stream I had like a, a modern mouse pad for modern gaming, and because it's not a laser mouse, you know, obviously Amiga mouse has got the ball under it. I had to like hold my breath when I, every time I was stamping down a brush, so, <laughs> so it would move. It's crazy. Amiga loves a little bummed we haven't seen Bill do a chair spin head tilt yet. We can we can remedy that situation, Amiga Love. Let's see. See, I got I got a little more mobility, Amiga Love. I got a little more mobility with, with this microphone setup, which is cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. See how much mobility. I don't want to knock over my green screen. I got I got I need to make sure my my spin radius is acceptable. Oh, the beast! Yes. Oh, hello, Amiga Love. Welcome to Amiga Bill. Unleash the beast! <laughs> How was that, Amiga Love? I don't even want to do anything right now. I just want to listen to Shadow of the Beast music. It's my favorite. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I love the Shadow of the Beast. Hagemaker's got an Amiga optical mouse. Only only uh, 40 pounds. Sweet. Yo, Joe Ski Rock. Founding father of the Amiga Bill Sub Club, baby. Hope all is well, Joe Ski. <laughs> I, I love the beast, man. I'm too excited right now. I can't even work. I can't even work. Let me turn it up a little bit. Mic check. I, hopefully you can still hear me all right. Oh, my mic was a little hot. Dang, I gotta turn my mic down a little bit. That's the problem. That's the problem with my, my... I got my mixer over there, and I can't see my mixer when I'm at work. Epic spin. All right. <laughs> Hyphen. Hi Van, what is up dude? I am, well I'm using a different mic the past two streams just because I need my mobility. I need mobility because I was setting up the Super Gen, setting up the Amiga in the stream, setting up my XL1 camera. 
so I need mobility. And it, when there's all this business happening on the desk, my regular mic will get bump sounds. I don't want bump sounds. Nothing. I, I don't want you guys to be like, ow, he just bumped me. Hopefully the mix is all right. I, I get excited when the beast comes on, you know what I'm saying? Joski, I'm planning another party, by the way. I'm trying to settle on a date. I will let you know. A wog party. All right, so it doesn't really matter. I, I don't have to be too precious when I pick this stuff up. I just want to make sure I include the entire letter. Oh, wait a minute. I'm starting with F. I need to start with V. I mean, I could start with F, but let's just go in order. I got a little aggressive there. Let's start with V. <laughs> Boom. Okay, there we go. We got our V. Let's pick up our V brush. Again, I just want to make sure I get the whole the whole thing. Oh, look at this. It overlaps with C. It overlaps with C, so I'm going to have to... That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to erase some frames. Um, all right, here's what I'll do. I got this. I'm just going to stamp this here for a second. Boom. I'm going to erase this little part of the C. Not, not, not like that. <laughs> not like that. There we go. And now I'll pick this little rascal up again. Pick this little rascal up. Do a little erasure with this rascal. Now we'll line up. We'll line up here. Um... Oh, Santi, you remember me playing the PS4 version of Shadow of the Beast? I love it. I, I love the PS4 version of Shadow of the Beast. Good sound choice. Better don't take the Turkey one or be taken out for the video. Copyright claims. Oh, yeah. Chris, Chris Hasselback. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm playing a music game. I hope I'm not playing any copyrighted music. I hope. Maybe, maybe I am. Lambda's back. Oh, Flashback. I think, isn't there a version of Flashback for the Nintendo Switch? I would love to play. We, so I've been doing a lot of creative streams. I've been doing a lot of interviews. So next week, I'm going to be able, it looks like I'm going to be able to stream on my regular, my regular stream time next week at Tuesday. So um, we got to play some games, you know what I'm saying? We'll play some games. I, the creative streams are actually my favorite, to be honest with you, because I like to be creative. Um, so we got 106.98. 106.98. So I'm just going to make sure the V is lined up here. Uh, I'm going to stamp it down. And now we're going to use the old move. Um, we go to Anim. Move. So we're at frame 104 of 170. So let's drop down like 60 frames, right? So we'll drop down like 60 frames of V. <laughs> 50 shades of gray, 60 frames of V. I'll go do a little preview first just to make sure, just to make sure I don't mess anything up too badly. <laughs> Amiga 1200 Gamer dropping out of chat for a while. We'll have to stream on Chromecast. No worries, Amiga 1200 Gamer, man. Dude, chill out. Have a good time. All good. All good. Retro Bench, you think only Turkin 2 gets copyright striked? All right, well, if it comes on, I'll, I'll hit the stop button real quick. <laughs> Santi's going to buy some food. Lunchtime in SoCal right now. I'll be back in a sec. Santi, go get, go get an awesome like, burrito or something. SoCal style. Some avocado. Draw that V. It's safe. Hazemaker just finished another World 20th Anniversary Edition on 3DS. Oh, dude, I should, I would love to play, I did play some 20th Anniversary Edition like way back in the day. I, just, I think it's a great version. I think it's awesome. Double Dragon, one your time faves. Amiga love, feeling the love. All right, guys, so let's go get the letter C. I could have just went to like frame 110 or something, you know, could have done the easy way, but Bill chooses the hard way. <laughs> All right, let's go grab that C. Let's grab this, oh man, we got the same issue because we got the overlap. We got the V overlap, you know what, so I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to, I'm going to like purposely pick up extra V, stamp it down there, we'll get rid of this stuff right here, get rid of that V, boom. I got, I grabbed a little extra just to make sure like, I knew it was easy to erase. You know what I mean? If I tried to be too precious with it, sometimes I might miss the erasure. Does that make any sense? Let's see. All right, so we'll just line up to C. A good, here's a good tip, pro, a pro depaint tip. Before placing text, don't drink coffee. <laughs> but this mouse pad's a game changer, right? It's much more precise. All right, we'll stamp down our C. 
Um, and we can go to anim move, and we'll we'll drop down another 60 frames. We still we still got frames to work with. The idea here was we don't want it to like go back to the beginning of the animation. Otherwise, we'll start dropping down C's where C shouldn't be. <laughs> you felt in your in your big toes tap in the floor. Yo, Cram, there's Cram. What's I was just talking about you, Cram. I'm so glad you're here, dude. I'm so psyched. My man Krem. This is like half his animation as well. Krem is Krem is reacquainting me with D paint, man. It's great to have you, Krem. McGeezer! Yo! McGeezer, congrats on the completion of Bomb Jack Beer Edition. McGeezer, I was just talking about playing games, because uh, I've been doing a lot of creative creative streams lately. So let's play some Bomb Jack Beer Edition um, next week. I should be able to stream on Tuesday next week, so. Kram is not sure how he can participate today. Primary internet is down, so I'm using 4G. It's not working very well. Oh, dude, no worries, Kram. Don't worry, dude. You've already, you've already participated plenty, and we're good. I'm on, I'm on cruise control here. Crazy heat wave and a hot tub, Jerry. Mickey's are I can't wait. Mickey's are, did you? Is there beer in the beer edition now? Could there be? And um, oh, I think three is to go to, right? Yeah. Let's say let's go to frame like 120. So we're going, we're going F. Let's inch along here. Pick up our F. Wait a minute, where's F? Did I not like do F? What is going on here? Oh, there's F. Okay. Oh, I was just, I overshot. Got it. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I was like, wait a minute, I got scared there. I was like, did I completely blow this? Just as I said, we're on cruise control. Did I completely blow it? Probably. <laughs> Probably, that, that would be very like me. <laughs> oh, yeah, the new mouse pad is treating me well. Treating me well. Actually, it's not the new mouse pad, it's the old mouse pad. All right, so that looks about right, right? I think we're good. I think we're good there. Stamp down that F. One eight, so we'll drop down like 50, so that'll be 68. We'll drop down 50 frames here. Um, anim, move, we're gonna drop 50 frames here. 50 frames F. There's beer rounds, oh good, awesome, awesome. That's awesome, McGeezer. Your graphics abilities are not as good as your coding. Hey, you know what? It, it's all in spirit. You know, I'll have a real beer right next to me when I'm playing the game. So that's what's better than, than like a real beer. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I got plenty of resolution on the real beer. <laughs> so what we'll do, McGeezer, if you're around, dude, if you're around on Tuesday, man, let's let's talk. If you want to watch the stream, you know, we'll grab some, have some beers together. You can be on the stream. It'd be great. McGeezer, you tried creating cans of beer, but they don't look right. So you just settled with drinking beer. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Hey, that's, that's good. Inde, what is up, my man? Thanks for joining the stream today. Oh, Air Jerry says there'll be a hot tub later in the week. Should be great weather for some outdoor streaming. Nice, dude. I, for I forgot to put the music down because I was I was so psyched about Shadow the Beast music before. All right, let's go to frame. Let's do shortcuts here. One ten. So now we're going. We're looking for the E. All right, E, let's pick up the E. I think B is brush, right? Yeah. Let's pick up the E. We're, we're so close right now. I think maybe we'll do a bonus animation if we finish in time. How awesome would that be? Bonus animation. Let's see if I can get the right spot here. I think it's a little thick. Yeah, a little thick on that side. Boom. All right, I think I got it. Stamp it down. And we are gonna go to Anim. Move. Uh, we want to drop down like 40, 50, 60. Let's drop down like 40 frames. I should just really do the math instead of like... <laughs> I just do the math, right? And stamp it down for the rest of the animation. Supercars, yeah. This is supercars. It's, um, I actually used this in a Guru Meditation video. Inde, man, this Amiga Capture looks tight. What do you use for the Capture Kit? Oh, thanks, man. Actually, we can do a really cool comparison, Inde. Um, I am using, well, this is a pretty interesting setup right now. If you see, I've got a Super Gen setup right here, Super Gen SX. So if you're just joining the screen, stream, the stream, 
You might scream. <laughs> you might scream. If you're just joining the stream, what we're doing today, guys, is we are getting ready for my exhibit at Vintage Computer Festival East, which is coming up this weekend. Uh, my whole exhibit is about um, Genlocks on the Amiga, about doing like you know desktop video when you know we could do amazing work with desktop video using an Amiga like way before anyone else could. So that's what the sh that my exhibit's all about. So I've got a Canon XL1 camera here, which is feeding composite video to the the Super Gen SX. We got the Amiga 1200 here, which is uh, feeding Amiga RGB to the Super Gen SX, and then it combines the two together and it outputs them through composite video into into a capture card. Um, so. What you're seeing here is the Amiga RGB being passed through the Super Gen. So normally when I stream, I don't have the Super Gen. So what I do normally is I just take the Amiga RGB output. Then I have an Amiga RGB to SCART cable. Um, and I send the Amiga RGB to this just like inexpensive little Chinese box, right? And it's a, it's a SCART upscaler. So it upscales the Amiga RGB to 1920 by 1080. And then, so it upscales it to 1080 and then it converts it to HDMI. Then I take the HDMI out and uh, put it into my Blackmagic capture card. And that's what you're seeing there. Now, like I said at the beginning of the stream, unfortunately, it's a 16 by 9 right now. Um, there was like a little mishap at the beginning of the stream. I usually uh, uh, correct the aspect ratio, um, but this is uncorrected. This is this is stretched, so it's a little stretched out. But you'll see the proper 4 to 3 when I switch over to um, the Genlock. Let's do that. Let's do it right now. Since there's some new viewers, I'll show you guys what we're up to here. I'm working in Amiga RGB because it's just so much sharper to, and so much easier to work with than composite video. Um, but we'll switch over to composite now. And we can take a peek. Let's see. There we are. So, yeah. So, this is the output. Now you're going to have the output of the Genlock, right? So, there's full Amiga graphics. And we can drop out color zero. And boom. There's our graphics superimposed over the video. So, the idea of the exhibit is that I'll have my camera and I'll aim it at people who come to the booth. And then I can put this title over them. It says, Welcome to VCF East. And maybe I'll have it so they can they can take it home. A little, little souvenir. A little VCF souvenir. But yeah. So, you can... Um, the way the Genlocks work is it's basically fading between the two sources. The two sources being Amiga RGB and... Canon XL1 camcorder. Um, so this is this is a mix, right? This is um, Amiga graphics with color zero dropped out, right? And so that reveals um, the video underneath. So this is this is full Amiga RGB. That's the, what we're looking at, the composite. Or we can drop out Amiga RGB, and that is just composite only. Um, we can also do some funky stuff like um, yeah, like this, where it's Amiga RGB over the video. That actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> and it's dropping out everything except color zero. Dude, that's kind of a cool effect too. Maybe we, maybe there's an, a happy accident that happened here. But anyway, that's the way it's supposed to look. And uh, let's 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 keep mo let's keep this party let's keep this party moving. Let's switch back over to Amiga RGB because I want to finish this animation and move on to something else. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's been awesome doing this animation, but now it's like all right, cool. Time to move on. <laughs> My creative juices are, are getting dried up. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, that's the perfect. Oh, thanks, McEaser. Um, ah, those RGB discard. Yeah, in the, those things, man, I gotta say, some people bash the RGB to discard Chinese box, and it's not the best. There's better solutions, but. For me, it works great. Uh, I miss Mads in chat, and Miss Mad uses it too. They're really good. The, the, like the open source scan converter is supposed to be better. I like have a better picture quality, but it doesn't. It's not compatible with either of my capture cards, and it's not compatible with my 4K monitors. So it's not compatible with me. <laughs> Even though I'm sure it looks better, you know. Awesome guys, I'm glad you liked it. Let's. All right, so we did the E. So A, A is up. A is up. We're so close. We are so close here. I think we're going to have extra time for some extracurricular activities. What time is it? 3.51. Oh, wow. We might have a little time for some extracurricular activities here. Let's pick up the A. This is a creative stream today. I do play games on Twitch as well. <laughs> but to be honest, like, you know, like Amiga games, I obviously gaming was a really big part of my Amiga experience, but for me... The creativity takes the cake. Like, I spent way more hours in D-Paint and AdPro and DigiView and DCTV and making my videos than I ever did playing games. So I love games, but the creative stuff is where it's at for me. But I know Twitch is primarily a gaming platform, 
So we will, we'll be back to the game soon enough, I promise. It's good to mix it up, you know, you gotta have a mix. I like to do all, all kinds of stuff. Alright, what frame at 137, so if I add... So I'll, I'll drop 30 frames down. I really should just do the math. Should just do the math. Um, Amiga Love says, we need to replace Bill's caps. We need Retro Bench. I'm, I'm ordering Amiga Love. I'm, I'm ordering a set from um, Retro Bench. Lambda, Ramda, Lambda Calculus approves of the Chinese upscaler. It's great, right? Um, in day, I'm not, I'm not so good with the solder, um, but I have friends who are. I'm not, I'm not familiar with it, with the, with the GBS eight two two zero. I'll have to check it out, dude. I'll check it out, in day. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's time for some Lotus, exactly. I love me some Lotus. You know what I really like too? I love um, Amiga Racer. It's a really cool like love letter to, to Lotus. I meant for your creative juices being oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I still got plenty of juice. I still got plenty of creative juice. I just want to end this one. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what did I miss from Amix? Amix. Amix, sorry. You're, Amix is giving a uh, Given Hazemaker some sage advice, but I don't know. Um, I, I missed. I missed your chat. Sorry, Amix. Have your friends check GBS control. Oh, I'll. Ch all right. I'll check it out in day. Um, Krem says, I, "I think it really doesn't matter what your upscaler is, as long as you, the user, are happy with the output and if it works for the rest with the rest of your hardware." Those are very, very wise words. Very wise words. It's all about having fun, right? And if it's working, I mean, trust me, I. I make, I make video for a living, all right? <laughs> so I, I know when something looks good, and I know when something doesn't. And I can tell you this, the way I have the Chinese upscaler set, it looks good, okay? It definitely looks good. Um, I'm sure the OSCC would look better, but I do, like I said, it's just not, doesn't work with all my system. And I know the Frame Meister probably looks the best, but I'm happy with this little box, man. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> Um, Mick Geezer says, hey Bill, can I ask you what your internet upload speed is? Your stream is like 30 frames per second here and really great. Oh, thanks. I have 75, I have 80 up, 80 down, Mick Geezer. 80 up, 80 down. Fiber connection. Lotus 2, Amiga, and Atari Link. Oh, so, oh, awesome, Amix. I, I missed that. Thank you. Amiga Love. All right, Amiga Love. Have fun at your meetings. <laughs> Mickey's are, yeah, 80 up, 80 down. It, technically, I've, I pay for 75 up, 75 down, but every time I test it, um, I get 80 up, 80 down. So I get a little, a little, a little extra something, something. <laughs> Mickey's are asking, do you know what I'm pushing now? Okay, so it's a variable bit rate I'm pushing now between, it's, it's about, um, it's averaging out at about five kilobits per second. It, it, it bounces between four and six, but it averages as five. You would give a lot of yours for a fiber connection, but no way it's accepting them. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm lucky to have the fiber connection, I love it. Uh, all right, let's, let's finish this. Uh, welcome. I lost track of where I was. Oh, I had the A, right? So we're going S, but let me just, let's just take a peek here too. B C F E A, yeah. All right, S. Oh, dude, so uh, when in the film biz, right in the biz, when you have the second to last shot of the day, it's called the Abby Singer because there was an AD. His name was Abby Singer, and he would always be like, uh, "This is the last shot, right?" And you would do the shot and be like, "Oh no, we gotta do one more shot. We gotta do one more shot." So the second to last shot of the day is called the Abby. So we're at the second to last letter. So this is like the Abby, the Abby Singer of our animation, <laughs> and the, just. The last shot of the day is called the martini, right? Because after you finish the last shot of the day, you worked hard all day, and you go have a martini. So we're, let's get rid of this Abby. We'll do the Abby. Of course, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I live by those words as well. But you might want to clo want close to OSCC quality on the cheap, and that's why I meant. Dude, yeah, no, it, I, absolutely, dude. It's, I um I like your suggestion a lot. I appreciate it. And I know OSCC looks better than the Chinese Scalar. I know it does for sure. I've seen it. I've seen the you know in action. It looks awesome. That's why I bought one. 
So, if, you know, if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's certainly true, but at the same time, if you can make it better, you know, if you can make it better, like, why not? I'm all, I'm all for providing the best quality streams and visuals as possible. So, I, I'm definitely open to that. All right, I think I got it, right? I think I got the S. It's, the S is tricky, all the curves. I think it's that. I think it's that. Let's go. Oh. It's that. It's that. All right. Frame 138. Let's, let's do 30 frames. Anim. Move. 30. Drop. Yeah, so what's cool about D-Paint, right, is you can actually pick up a brush and move the brush. Uh, so that's essentially what I'm doing, except I'm not moving it, right? I'm just stamping it down. I'm leaving it in one position. All right. Martini's up. Oh, you don't sell them. Right, right. Santi's back. What's up, dude? Six megabit. Yes, Mickey's are six megabit. Or or 6,000 kilobits. So it's, it's averaging out at five megabits. Mickey's are. That's my average. So it peaks at six and it goes down to four. So it varies between four and six. VCF eat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cram, what do people think of Indivision boards? I think they're awesome. I think Indivisions are great. They look they look pretty amazing. But you know, with all the new upscalers and stuff, not as many people use them. But it lets you run your Amiga like Workbench at higher resolutions. So I uh, thumbs up to the Indivision. But I don't. They're really hard to get now. I think you have to get them secondhand. Mickeyzer, gotta say it's a super quality stream. Thank you, thank you, Mickeyzer. I try really hard. I try really hard to, to make it look and sound good. But it's hard when I, you do everything yourself. Like if I was monitoring someone else's stream or then I could like make adjustments, you know, but something's not quite right because I'm actually on camera as well. It makes it harder for me to make the adjustment. Like with the sound, it's, oh, see, I, I peaked again. With the sound, why is, my, my mic is peaking a little bit. Again, this is like, a, let me, I just do this a little bit. I, um, it's hard for me. I can't like monitor my audio levels at all times. I'm trying to try to do something, you know? <laughs> so it's tricky when you're trying to do everything on your own, but I appreciate the kind words, dude. I appreciate it so much. Um, Um, casual Commodore saying, oh, what music? Let me check the music really quick. Let me switch over. Which song was that? Um, I got, let's see, can I keep my, can I keep myself together here? If I go here, will this work? I can switch over. Okay, so right now we're listening to Lost Patrol from Ocean Software. And the one before it, Speedball 2. Speedball 2, Ms. Mad, Ms. Mad Lemon for the win. Ms. Mad gets the gold star. It's funny because it's not the typical Speedball 2. Like my, the, the, I, when I think of Speedball, I always think of Speedball 1, right? Um, Santi says, is you have a 1200, just use an upscale and wait for the Vampire 1200. Yeah, that's, that's an option too. Cram, the, the Indivision's really nice, dude. Yeah, Ms. Mad. Oh, that's right. Ms. Mad throwing with the <laughs> Hayes and Ms. Mad with the Amiga Bill thumbs up. Nice. I love it. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. I'm so happy to hang out with you today. I just love these streams. It's like hanging out with my friends. I know I say it all the time, but it's true. All right, we got to grab the team. We'll grab the team. We're almost done with this sucker. Did the tea like not make itself? No, I think we were past the T, right? Welcome to VCFEAST. Boom. Let's pick this little rascal up. Let's pick this little rascal up. This is the martini. Well, almost a martini. Then I have to make sure like all the letters are on the screen at one time and add a little buffer there at the end. It's funny because I'm not even like really paying attention to the music when I stream because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. And the thing I like about creative streams is that I can play music, right? When I stream games, I don't like to play music because I like to hear the music from the game. Uh, 147 out of 170. So we'll drop down. That's 50. We'll drop down. Let's we'll drop down 20 frames. Anim. Frames. Move. We'll drop 20 frames. Draw. And then we'll have to. Then the last thing we have to do is just stamp it. Stamp out. Oh, we have to stamp the two. Yeah.
Lost Patrol music was real ear earworm back in the day. It still sounds great. Yeah, Kram, you're right, dude. Ms. Mad just had three habanero peppers straight from her plants. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> You've recovered from everything except that I've been aware of the, the passage that connects my mouth to my right inner ear. Ouch. Holy, Ms. Mad. Habanero is no joke. Be careful. I know uh, bread. I like bread. Water's bad with the habanero. I have bread and I think milk is pretty good, right? It's a base. Amiga games often have great music. Exactly, you don't want to cover up the... If you're going to play the game, you want to listen to the music from the game. Acme Finn, what's up, dude? You're going to be joining Jerry in the hot tub later of the week? Could not do that on a PC of 1992, exactly. Actually, what we're looking at here, um, you can do... On, I'm using my Amiga 1200. I really should be using the 500, because you could do this on a 500 from 1987. Right? Chill, haze maker, chill hype, exactly. <laughs> wow, Miss Mad, that's scary. Um, all right, let's go pick up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my calculator so I can actually. <laughs> Bill's not good with the math, the head math. It's funny because I got, I was, always was good at math in school, just not doing it in my head. All right, let's pick up the two. So let's see, 170 minus 148. I might have to do this all again. Was that stupid of me? I think I, I don't think I did this very efficiently, guys. I should have just done the calculations from the beginning. Ah, Bill, freaking lameo calculator. Calculator. So yeah, on another note, I'm like super psyched because I'm shooting this new Netflix show, and we're using we're shooting in 8K. It's crazy with a full frame sensor. The amount of data that we're shooting is insane. -o. <laughs> but the sensor is so big and beautiful, it's delicious. <laughs> I love it. 170 minus 148 equals 22. So if we stop, stamp 22 frames down, it should work, right? If I go 22, let me just make sure this will work. Alright, I think we're good. Draw. Actually, you know what? Let me just save this. Let me just save this. Before I start going, let's just save it. It's time to save. VCF welcome number 10. Save this sucker. Um. New Yo, Retro Bench with the sub, dude. Thank you, Retro Bench. You don't have to do that. I appreciate that, dude. Guys, I love it. Like, if you sub, I love it. But I just want everyone to know that this stream is free entertainment. <laughs> I just do this for fun and hang out with my friends. So it's like no one should ever feel any pressure to sub. But what I'm gonna do? So there's this big like St. Jude charity event coming up in June. That some of the, some of the streamers who I look up to, man, the guys who got me into streaming. They they all stream, a, they used to stream a game called Destiny. Now they stream all kinds of stuff. Um, but there's these guys who start this big charity event in Florida and it's to raise uh, money for St. Jude's Hospital. So, so far I've raised $114 on Twitch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate it all to the St. Jude's kids during their marathon because they those, those kids need the money more than me for sure. So I'm gonna take all my sub money if now, if you don't sub to me just because you want to donate to St. Jude, like if you want to donate, donate to them directly, right? Because if you sub to me, Amazon takes 50%, right? So let's say you sub to me is five dollars a month, or it's free if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free sub. But anyway, let's say it's five dollars a month, I get 250. So if you really want, if you really want to help the kids, then you're better off just helping them directly. But but I appreciate the sub very much. And what I might do, I might. I, that'll be like a one one way to like uh, celebrate my like one year stream anniversary and then maybe what I might do too is I might I'm always gonna donate to St. Jude but maybe I'll use some of my my sub money um, maybe I'll use some of my sub money to like invest back into the stream you know what I mean like I want to do I want to have some like raffles and do some cool stuff like that but for now for year number one man it's all going all going to St. Jude I promised 
I was going to do that, and I'm very excited about it. Um, Alright, so one, we did that, and we said... Where'd my phone go? 170, 148, 22 frames. Alright, so let's anim move. Right. I'm kind of bummed. I should have just done this from the beginning. I, I, I wasn't thinking that through, you know? Um, what I miss? What I miss? <laughs> uh, AK, Miss Madis, Bananas. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Not, Ms. Mad is on point with her Amiga music. Um, Krem says that the film industry should increase frame rate instead of increasing the resolution. Switch from 4K to 8K is not as large from full HD to 4K. Amen. Well, Krem, that, that does, that's a whole nother stream. <laughs> that is a whole nother stream, Krem. I've got a lot of thoughts about that myself. I agree with you. I, I agree that there's like a point of diminishing return, so to speak with the resolution. The reason why it's using 8K, right, is because the sensor is just so big. It's so much bigger than Super 35. It's full frame that they had to add a lot of extra pixels. Um, so the pixel the pixel density stays the same. Um, but the frame rate is a whole nother thing. I've, a lot of my computer friends are like, they should totally like do like Peter Jackson did, right, in The Hobbit, and at least do 48 frames per second. And for me, it's like, I like, I like it. It's very interesting, right? Because when it comes to like video games and like live sports, I agree. Like, I want the highest frame rate possible. I want the sharpest image possible. But when you see like a movie at a high frame rate, to me, it, it just it looks so weird. It looks too real. It looks it looks like you're looking at a soap opera, you know? <laughs> that in my opinion. But it's also I'm old, and that's the way I was conditioned. I was conditioned to look at quality movies at 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second, up you know, to 24, right? It, maybe maybe the young kids, maybe the next generation. We'll just feel that that looks old, and then the higher frame rate would be more suitable to them. I don't know. It's it's just it's really more of a matter of perception, right? But I, I when I see something at 24 frames per second, it just in my brain it's got that cinematic feel. As soon as you're looking at like 60 frames per second or 48 frames per second, it just it looks like a soap opera. <laughs> it loses all the magic, you know. The magic goes bye bye. It's too real. Electron Ash, what's up, dude? Great to see you, Ash. It's been a while, man. It's a pleasure to have you, Electron. I hope all is well, man. Thanks for stopping by. Why not do both? Increase the frame rate to 60 at 8K. DC? Exactly. I. That's the other thing, too. Is some people are just like, oh, man, like we don't need all this resolution. And it's like, well, you know what? What if they said that when things were like 7... <laughs> what if they said... You know, it's, it's always good to progress. You can always pull it back. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit warm in the UK. Nice. Oh, you, you donate to St. Jude? Awesome. I'm, I don't have any banners up just because I'm taking every single thing that I got from my, my subs and giving them to St. Jude. Um, you feel the same, Hazemaker? Nice. None of my cameras are great. They're all about 10 years old. I can't imagine owning a red. The red is, the red is pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> Electron, you match you some of the worst videos on, on Twitter. I have to see them. <laughs> um, your old JVC hard to just drive can camera outputs 1080i via HDMI, then via scaler, then to component. Oh, that's crazy. Cram says, don't you actually want to shoot your films at higher resolution than the final output? Um, yeah, you do. You want to shoot them at higher resolution or at least the same resolution as the final output, for sure. You don't want to upscale. They can do upscale really well these days, but you, want, you don't want to upscale if you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pierre says the Hobbit experiment didn't really work. It did look like it was shot on live TV on video rather than film. Strange. It did, man. It looks weird, especially in 3D. It looked like it looked like a bad stage play, and the cinematography and the lighting it just wasn't wasn't there for that. 24 frames just works. It's what gives movies the proper feels. I agree, Electron Ash. But I'm all for like high frame rates for like live sports or live TV or video games. Like who? I've, like video games at 24 frames per second are terrible, man. <laughs> Give me at least 60 for my video games, you know what I mean? Cram says you get used to the higher frame rate pretty quickly. 
I've used some of those things that interpolate more frames in between the real ones. It works pretty well, but not always. Anyhow, I would not want to disable that feature anymore. Yeah, you know, like, it's again, I think it is really about perception, right? Because in my brain, I've been trained, like, my whole life. All I wanted was for my videos not to look like home videos, right? Because I grew up with video cameras at 30 frames per second. And it just I just wanted my, my, my videos to look like film so bad. So, at like, 24 frames per second was, like, the holy grail. And I'll never forget, like, when the Sony Cine Alta first came out and you could shoot 24 frames per second. I was like, ah. It was just, and then like this XL1 camera could shoot 30p. It was like getting closer to 24p, but not quite. <laughs> it's the holy grail, man. But so maybe the younger generation will perceive things much differently. You know, it's very, very possible. It's very possible that when they see 24 frames per second, you know, two generations from now, it's just going to look ancient. <laughs> very, very possible. I think it's all about perception. Miss Mad knows what I mean. You've been conscious about frame rate yourself. It's a totally different feel. Yeah. I would stream, I would stream, I would have my stream up at 60 if I could, but I don't really have the computing power, power for it. The Hobbit looked way too weird for you in 48. Yeah. When is my first year streaming, Santi? My first year streaming, like, we're kind of hitting it now. It's coming to, like, May or June. I mean, I streamed, I actually started streaming modern games, just kind of messing around. But I still really started streaming Amiga stuff, like, yeah, maybe spring of last year. I gotta look. VHS is all you need, although 4K would be nice. <laughs> Someday when you can watch in 4K as well. Yeah, I'm lucky. The four, I have a 4K display, Acme Finite, and it's really, really beautiful. Joski, you think it's more conditioning? If you grew up on 48, then you would think that 24 was weird. You could be totally right, Joski. You could be totally, totally right. Yeah, I agree. The Hobbit definitely looks like a stage play, especially in 3D. Hot in Norway. It's hot in the hot tub. Yo, Dan, man, thanks for stopping by, dude. It's always a pleasure to have you. You've got a projector with frame rate interpolation, 24 frames per second cinema which seems so stuttery to me. It's all about perception, right? For me, 24, I just love 24. Love it. Um, oh, Electron Ash is saying, wow, we, could, we should just do a whole cinematography stream, right? That'd be fun. Uh, the good thing is that 24 frames per second is kind of like 48 per frames per second when projected. Well, so if, so when you have like a traditional, I should get my camera. When you have a traditional film camera, right? It's got a shutter, and the shutter is round. It's 300. It's a circle, 360 degrees. So a normal shutter, they cut the circle in half. So there's half the, the, of the circle is a mirror, and the other half there's nothing, right? So when it exposes the film, the, only the film is exposed to the light coming in from the lens, and then the shutter turns, and then you have a mirror, and you need that. You can't expose the film. Um, while it's moving because the film is going to move to the next frame. If you expose the film while it's moving, you get smear. So you have to black out the film, it moves, and then the shutter moves out of the way again. So you have a 180 degree shutter. Um, so it's 180, obviously half a 360. Um, so at 100, if you run at 24 frames per second, 180 degree shutter, that's, um, that's 1 48th of a second. If you increase your frame rate to 48 frames per second, uh, then you have 1 96th of a second exposure time and that affects the look dramatically like if you look at Saving Private Ryan They purposely changed the shutter angle to give it like that really sharp crisp feel with no motion blur at all So that was like all the rage in the 90s like shoot at 24 frames per second But then use like a 90 degree shutter or, or you know even even narrower shutter and you can get some like really crazy effects especially like with rain or with explosions when there's lots of dust particles There's like no motion blur and they're just like super super sharp and super crisp Oh man, I'm behind on the chat. Sorry. I I, can, I mean, I actually don't know much about computers, but I know a lot about cinematography. <laughs> I mean, that's what I do for a living. Um, lighting per retro benches, lighting perception changes at higher frame rates as the eye is receiving twice as much info. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, is there a post-production technique that converts 4K video to remove that video look and more like film? Well, there, Pierre. It's more about the frame rate, right, than the resolution. So it, 4K won't look, won't have that video look at all if you shoot at the right frame rate and use the right. And then there's another thing called color science, which plays a huge, huge part in uh, achieving that cinematic look. Santi, just asking if you're going to do a raffle. It would be cool to help you with a copy of God of War. Dude, I would love to do, I would absolutely, no way, dude. I would love to do a raffle. I, I'm going to start raffling some stuff off. I got some extra stuff here I don't need. Santi, I would love to do a raffle. We should do a raffle. There are tons of plugins and stuff. Yeah, there's tons. It's all about the color science, too. The color science is something that is very much overlooked. Everyone's just hooked on resolution and frame rates. 
That's the only part of the picture. What do I have in mind for a raffle? Um, I, I've got I got plenty of stuff to, to raffle off. A cinematography photography stream would be so cool. All right, let's do it. We'll do it one day. Rain, rain in, rain in where Amex is. You can tell when movies like Force Awakens were shot in 35 and some 70. It looks better to me in live action scenes, even at digital cinema. Oh, that, yeah, man, J.J. Abrams, he still loves film. Uh, a few of my friends still shoot on film. I shot on film last last year. It's been a while, but mostly digital now. But yeah, you love the shutter effect and saving Private Ryan like John Ash. Yeah, did, they also did a bleach bypass. Yes, yes, they did. They did that. They they left some of the silver in the film. It was it was almost a good explanation, Pierre. <laughs> almost a good. Explanation. I hope it makes sense to you. I can like show you easier if I have my real film camera here. I can show you the shutter. But my real film camera is not here at the moment. I'm trying to keep up, Ms. Mad. Amigas and film go together. It's true, Retro Bench. That's what got me into film. Can I do a raffle for an AC unit plus shipping? <laughs> that'd be a, that'd be a, that'd be a, a pretty expensive item to ship. This is 60 FPS porn, though, Hitchmaker. Yeah, man. It's, the higher frame rates look more real. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be as real as possible, go with the higher frame rates. Santi says color, that's why I still shoot with Canon 5D Mark IV. I know San Sony's catching up with mirrorless and autofocus, but Canon colors are awesome. I agree, Santi. My favorite colors are Airy colors, but that's they're expensive. That's my favorite. And the Canon is very close to Airy color science. Little pinball fantasies. Alright, so wow, that was awesome. That was an awesome little chat. Let me um catch up. So am I might am I have to like, redo all this. Okay. Oh wait, D wait. Did I do it? Did, did we have one frame of everything on the screen at once? Did I did I accidentally have success here? Boom! Success! Yes! The animation's done, guys! <laughs> we did it! So, speaking of frames per second, speaking of frames, I don't even I don't even know what how many frames per second we're running at here. Let's take a look. Uh, anim. Um, Anim control, right? Is that where it is? Uh, and frames, set number, add frame, uh, control, panel, no, set range, previous, next, you go, play, play once. Where the heck? They moved it. That, it used to be easy to, to find the control panel, but the panel's just that. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, anim, is it uh, maze under preferences? Um, It looks great. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, guys. You're guessing 15. I think it's more than 15, but it could be. Um, where the heck did I... Effect? No. It should be an anim. Load, save, mode, matte, brush, picture, uh, coordinates, multi-cycle, work range. No, none of that. Toolbox, fill, spacing, fonts, airbrush, grip, no. icons. It... Anim. All right, let's just... Move, well, hold on. Let's just save it first. <laughs> save this. We'll save it as number 11. I just want to save it. I want to put it down. Put it down on chip. <laughs> and then I'll change the frame rate. It, there's a, a window that comes up and you can set um, your base frame rate and your playback frame rate. Only Amiga, right? You just got a 1080p monitor about a year ago from a kind friend. Oh, sweet, dude. It's funny. like We're talking about like difference between 4K and 8K. I've actually never seen 8K. Even though I'm sh my camera that I'm working with this week shoots in 8K, we don't have a way to monitor it in 8K. I can only monitor it in 4K. Um, so, but I think there is a, like a point of diminishing return, right? Like the difference between like standard def and 1080 is massive. The difference between 1080 and 4K, I mean, I I, I noticed it for sure, but I feel like it's not as massive massive as a change as like standard def to like 1080, right? Or even standard def to 720. It's a pretty good jump. Lambda, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why my commands aren't working. I apologize, guys. I have to check on my commands. Um, let, me see, let me see if I can do that. File. New tab. Who makes the commands? Is it Streamlabs? Is it Streamlabs with the commands? I don't remember what. Oh, I'm not logged in. Maybe that's part of the, Maybe I have to log in to Streamlabs. Oh, I'm not logged in. Let's try this. Log in to Twitch. Hopefully this won't, like, bone my stream. Is it Streamlabs? Donations? Or is it Nightbot? I can't remember, even remember 
where I did... No, it's not Streamlabs. Is it Nightbot? It might be Nightbot. Um, it might be Night... Nightbot's been very quiet. It must be Nightbot where I did... Yeah, I'm logged in at Nightbot, too. Log in with Twitch. Oh, I'm not... I got... Yeah, I have to reauthorize it. Nightbot. And then we got commands. Custom. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let me go back to Twitch. AK, how many pimples do you have today? Super high res. Yeah, <laughs> right on it, Revenge. Alright, let's try this. Let's try it. Freaking Nightbot. I don't know. Nightbot is like... Nightbot's out to lunch, man. He is a jerk, Cage Maker. I don't know why Nightbot's not working, guys. I apologize. Added commands. It should be working. Unless I have to like restart the stream or something. I don't know. Freaking Nightbot, you jerk. I don't know what's up with Nightbot. Anyway, let's finish this animation. Electron action. I'm not back in 10 minutes. Just wait longer. I, I don't know. I, I must have missed that. Oh, you need a shower to cool off? <laughs> we can't smell you from here. That's okay. <laughs> don't worry about it, Electron Ash. <laughs> um, Anim. Uh, we go to control. Turn off that panel. All right, let's try it again. Anim, move, camera move, anim, bus, frame, set number, add frames, copy frames, do Set frame rate. There it is. I just didn't see it. So, interest of the global, yeah, 15 frames per second. You're totally right. You are totally right. It looks good, 15 frames per second. Okay, I like it. it let's play it again. You know, uh, hold on. Let's let's test it. Let's test it with the genlock. Let's test it with the genlock. I gotta flip the switch. Boom. Flip the switch. There we go. Sweet. And let's play it. And you can see this is live video. It actually looks, that background is pretty busy. So when I put my hand back there, it's a lot easier to read. Sweet. I'm psyched, man. It looks awesome, guys. And gals. Sorry, I always say guys. I gotta I got quit that. It looks awesome, everyone. <laughs> gotta quit that. Um, let's switch back. Well, I don't actually really have to switch to Amiga RGB. Let me see what's happening here. If I go input HDMI. Alright. Um, I want to drop this brush. Oh, wow. This is really hard. It is really hard to work like this. Um, black. Alright, so if we go back. Where's our last frame? Where's our last frame with the goodness? There we go. So four. Right, there we go. So let's go to frame. Uh, let's go to frame once. Let's see. 53, 4, 5, 60. Perfect. Okay. Now let's frame anim. Frames. Set number of frames. We'll just we'll put it to like 160. I, I can just delete those frames that are just kind of wonky. Don't need those. 160. All right. Let's see if that works. I want to try. I deleted the correct frames. Oh, awesome! Thanks, everyone. Isn't guys becoming a multi-gender term? I don't know, man. You know, I don't. I just don't want to offend anybody. I say, I, I don't. I'm guys, I mean people. But I feel like if you say oh, hello, people, to me it just feels like I don't know. I don't. I don't like it. All right. So here's what we want to do too. We want to go to frame one. 160 is blank. Cool. Frame one, we want to, frame one, we want to clear, clear it out. So clear frame one, so we don't get that jump, right? Now, this should be smooth. So if we're running at 15 frames per second, I could add like 60 frames. That will give us, what, four seconds on the end? That might be a lot. Maybe I'll add 30 frames to start with, an, with a second. Welcome to DCF East. Now the question is how many frames do we add, right? If we go to frame, move along. All right, frame 159. If we frames set number, if let's add like, if we add 30 frames, right? If we add, we go 190.
Let's see. Is that a long enough pause? Welcome to UCF East. We got a little pause. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because, you know, we got we to gotta show them the animation, right? We got to make sure everyone sees the animation. Welcome to BCF East. Then we got a little... That gives them enough time to read it. I think we're good. Guys, just like for a bunch of people. If you get offended by that, then you have more pressing issues. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Joski. The text appears so so slowly. Don't you don't really need that many frames at the end. I, you're right, Krem. You would say 30 max, Krem. Yeah. Pierre, you. I call my wife and daughters guys all the time. Like guys, stop arguing. Okay, cool. I'm glad. All right, cool. I'm glad. We're, if Miss, as long I know, uh, if Miss Mad is not offended, I'm happy because <laughs> I think she might be the only lady in the chat right now. But it's so weird though. Right? It is. My friend um, deals with like, he, he gives speeches about like gender issues and stuff and he's like, technically, you know, like, what if you and a bunch of your friends were hanging out and someone came in and said, hey, how's it going ladies? It'd be weird, right? So it, it should work both ways, right? But anyway, the idea is I, 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 I re respect all, uh, however you identify. Um, anyway, I think we're good. So, dude, we got an animation. That's awesome. <laughs> we got an anim. Um, I'm gonna save this final version. I'm gonna save this one. Anim, save. How many? How many? Oh, it took us 12. It took us 12 iterations. VCF welcome. You know, I'm gonna call it VCF welcome. Final. Boom. 190 frames. 190 frames of Amiga goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss Mad, deal. <laughs> deal. You're a good sport, Miss Mad. You rock. <laughs> but would gals work just as well? I don't. It's funny, right? <laughs> just say orgasms so that plants too are happy. <laughs> Organisms. Oh, you can tell where my mind is, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny too, right? I just want to make sure, you know, everyone's welcome. I don't want to sound like some jerk. Um, so, what time is it? It's 4.30. Wow. It took longer than I thought. It, I know, we were chilling, but I, I feel like I want to do another animation, right? Because that's cool. I really like this a lot. But the other thing, I, so, all right, well, let's see here. So, let's think about what I have to do to prepare. I I got to prepare my camera. I can do that after work. The We're shooting, like, really long days. So, I don't have a lot of time after work between now and Friday. Like, Friday, as soon as we wrap uh, the show, I have to go right down to New Jersey. So I actually need to like pack the Amigas into the cases, which I'm not gonna do on stream because it's putting the Amigas in plastic boxes to take them to VCF isn't exciting streaming. Um, I do need to get my two CRT monitors, so I'm gonna use an Amiga RGB monitor. Um, I plan on using an Amiga RGB monitor. Uh, to, so I'm gonna have like the Amiga RGB monitor up on the left of my display, uh, showing Amiga RGB, and then on the right, I could do another Amiga RGB monitor and just use the composite input. But I was thinking about using one of the Panasonic branded monitors, like the 1702, you know the Commodore 64, like 1702 monitor? They're actually made by Panasonic. And um, I have the video version of that monitor. So it looks just like a 1702, except except having like the, the beige colors, it's all gray. And it says Panasonic on it instead of Commodore. And it's got BNC connectors on the back, which would work really well with my BNC connectors on the Super Gen. Other cool thing about that monitor, it's got video in and video out. So if I want to record these little clips for people, I could take the video out of that monitor and put it into my capture card. So I think that's my plan. I'm gonna have a 10A4 monitor for Amiga RGB. I'm gonna have the Panasonic 1702. It's not really what it's called, but I'm called the 1702 for the composite. So they'll actually see, you know, the output of the Genlock, and then I'll take the output of that into my capture card. I don't know how much like capturing I'm gonna actually do, but it'd be it'd be cool to have the option. You know what I'm saying? Um, pals, <laughs> that's a good one, Acmefin. Exactly, casual comment. Any, anyone you respect is a good friend can tell you anything. Respect. Yo, Scene Cat, what's up, dude? We were listening to your mix the other day. Great to see you, man. It's been a while. Scene Cat, we got, we're doing an Amiga Genlock. All right, so let me just recap. If you're just joining the stream, um, oh, Lambda, you got to head, you got to head off now. All right, Lambda, Lambda, dude, I'll see you Saturday, man. I'm super psyched. We're gonna have so much fun. 
This guy at your work is named Jerk? No way. <laughs> That's funny. Um, take care, Lambda. I'll see you. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you Saturday, dude. Um, so if you're just joining the stream, um, we are getting ready for Vintage Computer Festival East, which is a computer show, vintage computer show that's coming up this weekend in Wall Township, New Jersey. And I'm going to have an Amiga exhibit there with my buddy Anthony. And I'm going to be demoing Amiga Genlocks, right? I'm going to show people how amazing Amiga was to give you the power of desktop video way before any other computer could. So right now I've got, let's see, if I switch over here, it's, I don't want to make you all sick. I've got my Genlock hooked up. So the, a Genlock basically takes two video signals, right? It takes Amiga RGB and it takes a video signal it could, and it could be a video from either a video camera it could be from a laser disc it could be from a VHS player um, and it combines the two so it basically superimposes the Amiga RGB over your video source so I've got switch over here so my video source is this rad Canon XL1 video camera which I love I you know I do wish I had a camera that was it should be it really should be like a VHS camera the thing is my VHS camera I don't have the ability to take the on-screen display off and that just bones the whole exhibit it just looks bad right <laughs> so at least I have this XL1 the XL1 first of all it looks cool it looks like a phaser gun second of all I can turn off the on-screen display which is which is key so I got video coming out of the XL1 I'm gonna put it back up on the tripod here oh gosh this tri these freaking bogan tripods are the worst all right and then, so I got the video output coming out of the camera, going into the Super Gen, and then I got Amiga RGB coming out of this 1200 going into Super Gen, and then I can fade between them with the Super Gen. I'll show you, show you how that works. So right now we have full Amiga RGB, and I can drop out Color Zero, so it will, it will, it will keep the Amiga uh, RGB image, but drop out Color Zero like that. Boom. And that gives you the ability to make titles like this. Now, this is a very busy background, so if something a little more solid makes it easier to read the text, but you get the idea. My fellow Megans. <laughs> Out of beers, damn. Yeah, that's the Monkey Island. That's awesome. Awesome Genlock device there. Amiga Bell prepping for VCF East. Sweet. Awesome. Scene Cat, dude, it's great to have you back, man. It's been a while. I, was ho I saw I was hosting your stream over the weekend. I saw you were playing some awesome mods, but um, it was Mother's Day, you know, so I was, I was out with Mom. I was out with Mom all day. <laughs> Speaking of moms, hello from Russia. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I missed that. Um, BZ4K, hello from Russia, Amiga Rules. What's up, BZ4K? Hello from New York, man. What's up, Russia? That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> you might be the, 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 the viewer that's furthest away. I don't know. Um, I, I, do you guys say Nostrovia in, in, uh, in Russian? I know Polish, but not right. I don't know, I know some Polish. Nostrovia. Here's here's to here's to Russia. Ikari Warriors, baby. Um, is it possible? Oh, I'm sorry, Ikari Warriors. International Karate. Um, is it possible to make a black or gray border around the text? Um, I could change like the entire background, but you know I could also make it easier to read like that, which is probably probably the that's probably the best solution, right? The easiest one. But what I'm thinking of doing is making another animation, right? But something really simple. Um, you know when you tune in to, I just had this idea. I just had, it's a crazy little idea because uh, the, if you look, when I was stamping down the letters, right? We used the move tool, but I wasn't moving the letters and that's what stamped them into place over multiple frames. But I kind of want to just mess around with the move tool and see what we can do. It might be fun, right? Um, so, you know like when you watch a TV channel and they have like the, the watermark, they call it, on the bottom of the screen, like showing you like what channel you're watching? What if I take the Vintage Computer Federation logo and, and use it as a watermark and we could like spin it around or something? I don't know. <laughs> it might be terrible. <laughs> it might be a terrible idea, but we can try it, right? We can try it for fun. We got time. Um, and the other thing I have to do for the exhibit is I'm thinking what would be cool is to maybe have like a little video loop playing of like, if you guys remember some of those like D-Paint uh, tutorial videos, I think it might be cool if I have just like, you know, regular monitor just set up playing uh, D-Paint how-to videos on loop. Do you think it's a good idea? It's like, what would you guys? I'm just throwing it out there. If you guys came to VCF and you, you want to see like a cool Genlock exhibit with some D paint, would would that be cool for you? Or if you have any other ideas on how to make the exhibit cool, let me know. 
I'm trying to, like I said, I'll have two monitors. Um, I'll be able to record the output of one of the monitors if someone wants to take take home, you know, their little video clip as a gift. I can do that for them. And maybe, maybe like just have a little deep paint video on loop. Just give them a little eye candy. You know, the more eye candy, the better. Um, how about a guru meditation blinking border? <laughs> I I did make a guru meditation animation Joski on screen once, and that's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. I'm not gonna have time to do it now. That's the only problem. Macro media flash tweens, right? <laughs> but Joski, that's a, I might I can I might be able to do that like at the show. Another thing I'll probably end up doing at the show. I'm gonna make multiple copies of this animation. I'll probably just end up showing people like how I made this. They'll teach them a little bit about D paint. You know what I'm saying? All right enough blah 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 let's get back into it let's go to all right so our animation saved right i saved it um, yeah i did i saved the final so i'm just curious um let's just exit right uh and i know i have the vcf logo on this computer somewhere uh, the question is where where is the vcf logo and what size is it right Picture load, uh, it would be here. HDD, right? Maybe not. Should be there. Games insulate, maybe not. Maybe it is an HDD1. I should be able to do a search, right? I think there should be a V. VCF, it's probably one of these. VCF demo, Anims, nope. V, it doesn't stick with the Vs. It doesn't stick with the Vs. Um, VCF East X GIF, VCF East X logo, 648 VCF, let's see what we got here. Uh, these, these are right from previous VCFs. Oh, cool. There's the mouse pad. That's, that's this mouse pad here. Check it out. My friend Dan Roganti, man, he made this. That's cool, I forgot I had that. You have to use Scala with that Genlock? Scala, oh yeah. You're probably right. It would be interesting to see if you make a red gradient palette, then it would look like lava. Oh, that could be really cool. Everyone's Scala, huh? That is a very good point, guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. Um. Scala. Hmm. Maybe I should just go with the Scala. That's some fairy tale adventure, right? That's the logo I was looking for. That's the logo I was looking for. And I was just gonna, you know what? Look, just for fun. All right. So wait, what is that pick? That was VCFXI logo 320 by 200 IFF. Okay. I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna do this for myself really quick. Um, let's quit. I love Fairy Tale Adventure. Oh, love so much. We should play some Fairy Tale Adventure, right? What if we go NTSC high res laced 640 by 400? Um, you know, keep it to 16 colors, old school. 640 by 400. The other thing, oh, you know what we want to do is we want to do overscan. Max overscan. If we're gonna put it in the lower right corner, right? Um, and then we go to pick, load, volumes, where was that? HDD, then we go to, we'll put up some Scala. We'll do that, I'm just wanna, just, I just wanna see if this works. If not, I know I have some more work to do. So VCF East XI, is that where I got it from? Nope, where did I get it from? So, if I were to pick this sucker up, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy up about the white border. Let me see what happens if I do this. What happens if we fill, I, sorry, I'm just messing, guys, I just, I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> that looks terrible. I can clean it up, but that looks pretty bad. Uh, can I undo that? <laughs> I can. Alright, let's pick up the brush. Just see what happens if I do that. Alright. I'm just gonna pick this up. 
clear. And then if I go over to the gen lock, how far down can I go? Oh, I'd have to fill, oh, cause that's color zero, right? So I have to give it a different color. Yeah, this is gonna be a production. <laughs> but let's just see what happens. Let's just, I just wanna, I'm curious to use the move. <laughs> I wanna use the move. DC guys, hang off to Cinema Tune and see you all. Oh, DC, thanks so much for hanging out, dude. It was a pleasure. Hey, Mix, welcome back, dude. Hazemaker, was there ever a D Paint 6? No, D Paint 5 was the last one, as far as I know. Fairy Tale, yeah, Fairy Tale Adventure rocked. Um, uh, BZ4K says, uh, I work with ORAD system on a modern TV, and you know sometimes Scala is better. And Scala still exists, man. Scala is still around. And it is a different iter iteration. <laughs> yeah, D-Paint 5 was the last version for Amiga, at least, that I know of. Oh, you never heard the flood music that far? DC, thanks for hanging out, dude. It was a pleasure. Soundsy says, you take that logo into Pixel 3D and bitmaps, make it an extrusion, export into Lightwave, make it 360 degrees turn, and you'll have some nice logo flipping around on the border of your screen with your genlock. Ooh, Santi. Ooh, Santi. That's a good idea. Um, Electron, ever seen any Quantel stuff at VCF? I think sometimes they do have it. It just depends what, um, it just kind of depends what people bring that year. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. That logo needs some more contrast in video. Yeah, totally, right? <laughs> it's pretty milky. I'm just curious. Let's see if we go to Anim frames, set number. Let's just make like 50 frames or we're, let's, see, let's make, uh, let's make 30 frames. I just, I haven't used the move requester in so long, I just want to, I forgot how to do it. So click it down, anim, move. So this is like, you can either bring it to that point or make it go forward. Distance, X, Y, Z, start, end. Oh, yeah. So if we do Z, we can make it go right. We can make it go like minus 300. Preview it. So it can So it gets big. <laughs> That's cool. I'm, I'm gonna do it just to. I'm gonna do it just for fun. Let's draw it. I'm also realizing how, how much I forgot, right? <laughs> VCF in your face. It's also. Oh, see what happens when it's off center? <laughs> if you're gonna do that, you might as well have it come like, shh, like right at you, right? But it's cool, man. I, the, at least we're moving. I just, being that we stamped down so many still brushes, I just wanted to use the move. I haven't used the move in a long time. <laughs> Not the best example of move, but hey, all right, boom, four. That's it. Hey, that's pretty cool. If I had it stamped in the center of the frame, it would, it would look much better. <laughs> um. Yeah, Scala still is maintained casual Commodore. As a matter of fact, a couple of guys, uh, a couple of the Amiga guys who I met during the Friends meetup, like a Jeff Porter, he still works for Scala. Now Scala makes interactive screens for McDonald's, etc. Oh, right, PC4K. That makes, yeah, they, they did say they make interactive stuff. Um, McEaser, you gotta go. Thanks, dude. McEaser, let's be in touch, all right? Congratulations on the completion of Bomb Jack Beer Edition. If you want to throw the download link down in the chat, go for it. My man McGeezer is the man behind the new version of Bomb Jack for the Amiga, which is the best version ever made of Bomb Jack, and it's the beer edition. So yeah, hats off. I would take my hat off, but it's gonna mess everything up. Hats off to you, McGeezer, and anyone who does like new Amiga games. It's awesome. This should be renamed Electronic Farts. <laughs> um, all right, cool. I'm just glad that. We did that. That was fun. All right, let's let's boot up Scala. That could be that. That's a good idea. All right, D paint. Now here's a question: Do I have Scala? I'm. Uh, oh, good. You know what happened? P 
Hey Dream. I used to have Scala on here, and I think I have Scala as an emulator. What happens was, oh man. I'm not gonna be able to do Scala on the stream. I wasn't ready for Scala. I don't think I have it, right? Let me check. A. No, I don't have Scala loaded up. All right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I will install Scala for the show. That's a very good idea. Um, and we'll do we'll do Scala on a future stream. I'm just not set up for it right now, which is kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. Sorry, everyone. Oh, a friend sent you a 16 gigabyte SD card, which is packed with Amibi and stuff. Nice, dude. Um, let me, I don't know if I want to take the time to install Scala. Let me see. Let me see if I have it handy. Let me see if I have it handy. Well, let's see what I got handy here. Do I have Scala? I'm just gonna take a quick peek over on my Amiga files. Uh, Amiga productivity. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do Scala today, unfortunately. I apologize for that. <laughs> but it's a really good idea. Sorry, everyone. I have Pro Video Gold, which is horrible. <laughs> um... Rick Dangerous too. You're oh good. I'm yeah, Ms. Matt. I, I knew I, I've been streaming a lot of mod files, so I was like, you know, what? I want to stream some some Amiga music. I was in the mood for some Amiga music. I mean, Amiga game music. Santi, I would love to do a collaboration with you for sure. Uh, Pierre says Scala requires a dongle to run, which I might still have at home. I'm certain there's a cracked version out there. I'm pretty sure I have the cracked version, and that's the Pierre, and that's why because I have my original Scala discs. I have Scala 200. Um, but they probably won't work, believe it or not. And I know I I have Scala on the stream that I'm actually using to stream right now. That's why I can't can't get it. Dude, if you guys Amix Amix and Toa, if you guys organize a uh, an Amiga event in Norway, that'd be that'd be awesome. I'd be so happy. Miss Mad, you think it gets Everyone's in the spirit of the stream. Yeah, dude, I I agree. I uh, I like I got a lot more Amiga game music where this came from. So there'll be there'll be more Amiga game music on the streams. The only problem with Amiga game music is it makes Scott want to play games sometimes. <laughs> Casual Commodore is a C64 guy. Loving the Amiga though, but 64 is your first tech love. Sweet man, I respect man. I re totally respect that Casual. Electron Ash might be doing his GoTech on-screen display thing again. It's only around 10 pounds for an FPGA board that would do that and would have some spare logic left over. Sweet! That'd be fun. That'd be really fun, Electron Ash. Alright, now the question is, now what do we do? <laughs> I don't have Scala loaded up on this machine, so we can't do Scala. I should definitely set the clock on my Amiga. I've got battery backup. Um, we could play around with D-Paint a little bit more, or we could play a game. Look down. I don't have I don't have that much more time left. It's 4:51 p.m. my time now, and I gotta wrap things up by the latest 5:30. That'd be the absolute latest I could go. But I, if I wrap up around 5:15, that'd be cool. My wife is actually doing a stream later, so I have to get ready for her stream. I gotta eat dinner, and I gotta go for at least a little walk because it's beautiful weather in New York today. Um, oh, I know what we could do. This is actually something I need to do. Let's try this. Let's try this. All right, I am going to. This is actually something I need to do for the show, so this is perfect. This is perfect. Alright, let me close that. We got that. I got an idea. I got an idea of what we can do. Um, let's see. Um, how's this? Cool. So what I'm, I'm going to do here is give my buddy a little plug, because it is going to... Uh, 
So, um, Ms. Matt is on point with her Amiga music, game music education. <laughs> it, is, it is from the game ball. You haven't heard this in, in, uh, in years. I, I wouldn't have been able to guess it because I just saw it now when I switched over. My wife is doing an interview. Um, my wife streams stuff about like healthy food and healthy living, and she does cooking streams as well. Awkward Aardvark, what's up, dude? Nice to see you. So uh, today she's going to do an interview with someone who owns um, a vegan restaurant in Las Vegas. She's a friend of ours. So she's going to do an interview with him. And then she's, she also does cooking streams as well. But today she's doing the interview. Um, take the cam with you on a walk. I should. That'd be fun. Um, and she drinks tea. My wife does drink tea, a lot of tea. <laughs> and Miss Matt drinks tea too. Electron, you still want to try those pierogies you Anthony and I had? Oh, they were really good. They were really good. Hero Quest title, awesome. Um, Hero Quest is a great game too. So guys, check this out. Um, this is my buddy's website. It's called AmigaVideo.net, and it is a massive collection of Amiga videos. Right? My friend's name is Thierry Mazzolini, and he is going to be also exhibiting at BCF East. He's going to be um, showing rare European computers. Maybe not so rare to, to you guys in chat because um, you're, a lot of you are from Europe, but he's going to be showing off a lot of uh, rare machines. And he's got like really cool French machines too because he's originally from France. He's got the Alice and all kinds of weird like Franklin computers and stuff. <laughs> but it's a really cool exhibit that he's got every year. He and Retro Red Rum are doing it together. Anyway, this is Theory site. It is a collection of old Amiga videos that he got from Beta, VHS, etc. So what I want to look for are D-Paint videos, right? Um, if we look, we could probably do a good old search. You can see he's got a ton of stuff on here. If we search D-Paint. Oh, you can see I've searched for it before. Professional techniques for D-Paint 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're looking for. Where is it, though? Oh, you just have to click on it. It'd be cool to have this on a loop, right? As part of the exhibit. You guys want to see what this is? Let me pause this for a second. Uh, it's the actual game, Hero Quest game. All right. Let's see what we got going up here. Yo, Toa, Toa, it was a pleasure having you. I know it's getting late in Europe. I'm streaming an hour later today because I had some work to do. So I usually wrap things up around 4.15, 4.20, right? <laughs> but today I'm going to wrap up around 5.15, 5.20. So I got like 20 minutes left. But Toa, thank you so much for hanging out, man. It's always a pleasure to have you. Yo, Amiton TV in the chat. What is up, Johnny? How's it going, my brother? It's great to see you, my friend. We finished our animation, Johnny. I'm super psyched about it. If this video looks cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that bowling ball. It might be cool to have this on a loop, right? I'm just gonna set up a monitor. There's our Arcara fonts. It might be cool to have this on a loop. And professional techniques for D-Paint 3. And I've got some other videos that would be appropriate too. I have like the ASDG demo reel. But I can just have this on a loop, man. Oh god, another turn. <laughs> what is it? Did every person who made a video... Uh, did every person who made an Amiga video back in the day have to do the turn? Johnny, it's great to see you, my friend. I still have to Google time difference between UTC and BSC earlier. I always forget. That's why I put the UTC Electron Ash. I'm glad it worked. Because I figure if I put UTC or if I, I name the time zone, then you can just Google your own time zone. You know, insert your time zone where. The other thing is, the other reason why I post the event is because the event will do the time calculation for you. Amiton TV and the Hizza. 
<laughs> the turn is so 90s, exactly. Well, hello, you've arrived for my tutorial video. <laughs> exactly. It's great to see you, Johnny. Mank Vacal 18, you do the turn, Amiga. I did it. I did. I did an epic Amiga turn before. I'll do one right now. Let me pause the video. Oh, Turkin! Uh, ah, ah, ah! I gotta pause it. Sorry. Sorry. I think I think I'm gonna get like a copyright strike with the. Tur I know the Turkin 2 music gives you the copyright strike. I gotta skip Turkin. All right. Oh, there we go. This is a good one. All right. Let me do. Let me do it. Let me do a turn now. I got really. I did a really good turn before with the Shadow of the Beast music. So this this music. I think we all know this. Oh, hello there, Twitch viewers. Welcome to Amiga Bill's stream. Today we are going to be doing some gen locking and using D-Paint 5 to create animations on the Commodore Amiga computer. Come join us. <laughs> I should... Cannon fodder's the best, right? Mac, was that, was that good enough for you? I have, I actually have a whole, like, I, I created a, a Kurt, um, what was his name, that guy, Kurt? I, oh, Apidia, the best. Um, I created a whole Kurt, like, Kurt, I made a whole gif called Kirk Turns. Kirk was the host of Amiga Video Magazine. We had, we had some good fun with him. I'm hired. <laughs> Sounds like I'm reading off a teleprompter. I tried, that's what I tried to do. R.I.P. Jules, R.I.P. Sue. <laughs> Dying in the sun, war, you know it. I passed the test. Amiton, I like I like your little emote there. <laughs> you're looking you're looking mighty attractive there, Johnny. <laughs> Does Sanzian also give the muted audio when actually playing some of it on Hippo Player? I'm not sure. I've been I'm not sure about that one scene cat, but I know I know Turk and Two's a no no. You love that press play on tape vid? Oh yeah, yeah, that was a good one. And Giant's looking fine, right? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's... Do you want to see what Dan Silva's got to say? He's a pretty awesome dude. Uh, the question is, where's the volume on this? My volume output all the way up. You know what? Let me, let me pause the audio on the video really quick. Are we get, actually getting any audio here? You'll find that you can use D-Paint 3 to create colorful... Wow, the audio is just really, really low on this video. All right, I'm going to have to crank it up. Let's see if I can crank it up. It might not hurt to, to watch this video for a bit, right? ...graphics and animation in a fraction of the time it would take with any other program. Please make sure that you have some working familiarity with D-Paint's basic menus and tools because we plan to cover new techniques and updated tools in the coming hour. If you're familiar with Deluxe Paint, you should be able to follow along quite easily. If not, you may want to read a guided tour in I your manual. I hope that's not too loud. Feel free to oh. pause the tape at any point. Hold on, let me put... I know you guys can't see it, sorry. Uh, let's start that again. I don't know if you even really want to see this video, but we'll figure we'll check it. We'll check it out, right? Buzzbrain01, how's it going? Thanks for joining the stream. We we actually finished up with our duties today, we'll, and we'll look at the animation one more time. Today we finished our Welcome to VCF East animation. Uh, this weekend is the Vintage Computer Festival East in Wall Township, New Jersey, about an hour and a half, two hours outside of New York City. And my buddy Anthony and I are going to have an Amiga exhibit at the Vintage Computer Festival, and I'm going to be showing off Genlocks. So we created this animation, this D-Paint animation that just says Welcome to VCF East. And I'm going to have that running up on the screen, and then people are going to be able to show up behind the text, and I'm going to give them a little clip of it to take home. That 50 hertz hum, yeah, right? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know that whole joke, uh, Electron Ash, the original turn master. <laughs> you should loop Kurt Duncan perpetually on the screen of the show. Oh, that's a good one, Amiga Love. That's a good idea. I do have a Kirk Duncan loop. 
Sounds like Bob Ross on Amiga. <laughs> Pierre, you remember these videos and you owned some of them. They were so exciting to watch and learn some new techniques. There you go, Hazemaker. There's some Bobby Ross. Hey, Alexander. Um, oh, you're going to... Uh, well, so yeah, if you can't come to VCF, no worries. I'm going to make a video about it. I'm also... This year... Like, so... I already made a video on Guru Meditation about Amiga Genlocks, especially this one, the uh, Super Gen SX. So, I'm not... Like... I, I'll show our exhibit, I'll show Anthony and I's exhibit, but there's no reason to go into like extreme detail on it, being that we already made a detailed video about Genlocks. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you our exhibit, but then I'm also going to like shoot some of the other parts of the show. A lot of my friends have exhibits there this year as well, so we'll go around and we'll check in with them, see what they're up to, and that will be this year's VCF video. So that is my plan, and and um, I might even, that's a very good question, Buzzbrainer, when will there be a live stream from the show? Here's the problem, right? The the show takes place at this place called um, the Info Age Science Center, and it's an old army base. It's an old army communications base, and it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so cell phone service is sketchy there, and internet service is also sketchy. So I, I'm not going to stream live from there because last time I tried that, I tried doing it from MAGFest. It just it didn't work so well. <laughs> and plus, these like everyone loves Amiga, right? So when they come to these shows... I'm really busy. Like I'm just slammed. It, people are like lining up to see me. It's really, really cool to see. Um, but I'm gonna be really busy. So what I'll do is the best. My best course of action is to just record it and then put it up on the Guru. I'll record like when when there's a lull in the action, I can go around and do some recording. Anthony can hold down the fort while I go record some of our friends' exhibits. But I am gonna try. I am gonna try to like check in to Johnny's stream because Johnny is gonna do a Saturday night stream while the show is active. So I'm going to try and call into Johnny's stream over to Amiton TV and see see if it works. It might not work, so don't get your hopes up. But I'll try and call in, Skype into Johnny's stream and see if you can get a little taste, a little VCF, a little taste of VCF. <laughs> a little taste. Um, so that's a really good question, though, Buzzbrain. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> All right? MagFest must be packed with... Uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It's, dude, it's loaded. It's crazy. National security reasons, right? <laughs> Johnny, we'll give it a, we'll give it a try, Johnny. If you, if you want to try it, I, I'll be happy to try and Skype to you. I just, I can't promise that's going to work. It might be, it might work. And it might be awesome. Even if it works for like a couple of minutes, it'll be fun. You know what I'm saying? I bet that's a little deep paint animation. I like the texture back there. Come to Finland, we have comms. <laughs> I would love to come to Finland. I got. I'll get to the. I'll get to the hot tub one day. There's Dan. IRL from the hot tub. You know it. Sonic Connections. I would love to, Ari Ari. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jeff Bruett, and welcome to Professional Techniques for Deluxe Paint 3. In the next 60 minutes, we will be demonstrating a variety of tips and techniques to help you achieve truly professional results. I love the slow zoom in. While this video will be informative, it is not intended to be a replacement for your Deluxe Paint 3 manual. In addition, there are files included with Deluxe Paint 3 that we will be using in our demonstration. He's definitely reading off a teleprompter, so and if he's not, them, if you wish God to help him. <laughs> Santi, any vampires for VCF? I don't think so, Santi, because the, the only Amiga guys are Anthony and myself who are going this year, so and only, only Amiga Genlocks. <laughs> Maybe one day you can come and with your vampire, that'd be awesome. Paint 3, Although, um, of professional PC Manny, Manny should bring his vampire for the show. D-Paint 3 combines a Modern Vintage Gamer and Maddie on your birthday and VCF Connection to me. That would be a great tools, show, Johnny. I, I, I just don't want to like, get your hopes up too high because I don't know if my, my thing will work. We are especially pleased to have Dan Silva joining us to contribute his unique insight. <laughs> After you spend a little time with this video, What's he looking at? I don't know, right? The it's thin. Mustache delicious. You can use D-Paint 3 to create colorful graphics and animation in a fraction of the time The good old 2000. That's what I had, program. Buzzbrain. That's what I used to do Please most of my deep painting on 2000. Some working familiarity with deep paints, basic menus and tools, because this would be cool though. So guys, what I'm thinking, King Tut is the real mascot the for deep paint. Yeah, he if really you're is. Familiar with deluxe paint. Do I even have the manual here? To follow along quite easily. I think I've got it. If not, 
you may want to read a guided tour in your manual. Feel free to yeah, pause the tape see, at any point. I got Deluxe Paint Remember, 5 manual here. Watch, read, and experiment. It's got King Tut the on it. I got the Deluxe Paint 4 Paint manual, also with King Tut. Whatever approach you take, welcome to the world of computer-generated art. Oh, look, he's doing the same thing I'm doing with it. I got into computer the graphics in not the most direct way. I actually started out in mechanical engineering. Maybe I should grow a mustache, right, but for the show. When I was going to school, which was originally at Stanford, there wasn't any computer graphics department. <laughs> Matter of fact, there wasn't anything com called computer graphics that I had ever heard about. Now, th and this I is Deep Paint 4. Uh, using computers and mechanical engineering and to... Deep Paint uh, 5 manual. Oh, uh, maybe on the screen there was Deep Paint 2. dimensional kinematic linkages. It is. sounds pretty complicated, but actually... Thick manuals, right? ...many of the same concepts that you use in computer graphics. And when I uh, started working at other jobs, like working... Electron Ash, trivia question. Who created age? the video toaster and what was his connection to Wayne's World? I'm not going to answer it because I, I, I know the answer. I did everything I could to get my hands-on equipment that I could create computer graphics with because I just felt a real um, need to create some sort of tangible output. I wasn't into programming in the abstract. While the Amiga has not changed in basic graphic capability since its release plant several years ago, many software products have. This is also the case with Deluxe Paint 3, with its support of overscan and half-bright modes. The extra half-bright mode is a new feature in Deluxe Paint. Extra half-bright was cool. This painting I'll mode do the is turn. only available if you are using 64 colors. Let's change our screen format now. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Choose screen format from the picture menu. Choose 64 I'm colors. I am running out of time, so here's what okay. we're going to do. I'm going to mute this. Now the palette contains this. 64 colors. I'm going to mute this. The first 32 colors are the same uh, colors we had in low res format. I'm going to mute the second the sucker here and then we'll go back to the music. Oh, it may I can't mute him. Settings. I can't the way theory has his player set up, I can't mute it. Oh well. Oh well. Close that up. Sorry. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Put on some music. There we go. Um All right, sorry. So uh, next streaming, I'll have a mustache too. I should grow a mustache for uh, for the show, right? What's the video toaster, Hazemaker? Hazemaker, are you um are you not? Is that for real? Like, you're, if you're not sure what the video toaster is, I can definitely uh, tell you about it. The Amiga is not changing graphics capability for 24 years, right? You can toast your VHS tapes with it. Hilarious. The picture in the background is very Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, right? Stare at the, p stare at the point in the wall and speak, right? Juji, how's it going? Oh my, Amiga forever. Juji, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just wrapping up the stream here. Okay, hey, Maker, I'll tell you what it is. No problem, dude. Um, you're not retro if you don't have a stash. Um... Didn't Penn & Teller do a vid on the video toaster? I remember being quite... Yes, they did. They, they did a lot of advertising for the video toaster. So, all right. We got some new viewers. Let me just tell you what we did in today's stream. And then I'll tell you guys what the video toaster is. And then I'll wrap up the stream because I actually, I actually do have to run soon. So, everyone, check this out. So, um, I'm getting ready for my exhibit at Vintage Computer Festival East this weekend. It's all about um, Genlocks on the Commodore Amiga computer. So here I have an Amiga 1200, and it the RGB output of this Amiga 1200 is going into this thing called a Genlock, right? Now the Genlock is also getting the input from my gorgeous Canon XL1 Mini DV camera, right? So the Genlock gets the signal from the video camera and the signal from the Amiga RGB and puts them together. It puts uh, the video on the bottom and the Amiga on the top. Now once you have that, those two video um, sources are layered, you can dissolve between them and you can even drop out color zero on the Amiga 1200. So um, you basically have a transparent layer, kind of like a, a layer, like an alpha channel in Photoshop, right? Um, so you can do things like titles and graphics. I'll show you, I'll show you, and I'll show you what we made today. And I always have these freaking Vogan still photography mounts are garbage. All right. Um, let's go to, let me switch over to here. Let's switch over to here. Uh, PC, did I, say, did I do it right? Yeah, all right, cool. Um, so we made this awesome D-Paint animation. We will boot it up.
that can XL1 didn't exist around your Amiga days? Yeah, to be honest, like, so here's my thing with the XL1, right? Um, I really should be doing the exhibit with like a VHS or a Hi8. The problem is I have a few VHS cameras um, and I can't turn off the on-screen display. So it just makes the exhibit look really bad. <laughs> so I do, the oldest camera I have where I can turn off the on-screen display is the XL1. That's why I'm using it. Um, but you're correct, it's not really period, right? XL1 probably came out in like 1996, somewhere, sometime, sometime around 96, I think XL1 came out, 95, 96. So it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit late to the party, but it'll, it'll be fine. Um, now the question is where, <laughs> where did I de-paint? I think, uh, where did I put the animation, right? De-paint. AGA R and Anim. Did I put it in the Anim drawer or did I make it? That's so crazy. Like, where did I put the animation? Hold on. Maybe if I go to Anim load. <laughs> where did I put? There we go. I, okay, D Paint 5 Anim. Good. That's where I was headed. So let's load up the animation that we made on the stream today. I want to try changing it 16 colors too. PC, Mac, and Amiga. Inception. Yeah, totally, right? I've used two capture cards. I'm using a capture card to capture the output of the Super Gen, and I'm using another capture card to capture Amiga RGB out. So when I was actually doing the, the animation in D-Paint, it's so much easier to work in Amiga RGB because it's much higher resolution, much higher quality. The uh, composite out of the Super Gen is eh. I'm glad I was there. I'm glad you're liking it. I'm sorry. I'm actually wrapping the stream up, and I, I'm sorry you're just joining us kind of late, but at least you get, you'll get you get the idea. So watch. Here's the animation. Welcome to VCF East. So there you go. There's the animation. Now watch what happens. On the Super Gen, I can fade out the background, right? So I can fade down color zero. And now it's superimposed over the video feed from the XL1. And that's what I'm going to do at, uh, at VCF East. I'm going to have this up and running, and I'm going to show people how to do animations with D-Paint. And I can even uh, record this output and send it to them as like a little gift. I did that two years ago. I had, would take their st a still photo of them and convert it to ham mode and then email them their ham picture. It worked really well for stills. I don't know if like emailing people a video clip is as exciting, but that's the idea. Shuffle Pluck. Yeah, Ms. Matt, I know you love the Shuffle Pluck. You like it, Amiton? You guys like it? I think we did great. And I, and to be honest, like I am still getting, I used to be pretty good with the D-Paint, but I'm very, very rusty. I'm just kind of relearning it in a way. And there, the guy named Cram and a few other folks in chat like really helped me a lot. So this is this is really a team effort. We, we all did this animation together and I think it came out great. For my first stab at like a title, <laughs> since, I don't know, 1992, it's not bad. <laughs> and I couldn't have done it without the help from chat. So there we go. Now you guys want to know about the video toaster, right? So um, a lot of people say, think the video toaster, the video toaster is a, um, is a piece of video hardware for the, for big box Amigas. It first came out for the Amiga 2000 and it was massive. It, it was probably the most important thing to happen for the Amiga in the United States. The reason why I say that is because Amiga, in the, uh, so the video toaster is all based on the NTSC signal, right? That's why couldn't they didn't have it for PAL, so it wasn't big in other countries. And here in the states, we have NTSC North America, so that's why the toaster was here. But anyway, what is the toaster? The toaster is a video switcher. So, so you kind of with this Genlock here, I can pan over. With this Genlock, we've got basically two sources. We've got like Amiga RGB, and we have um, the composite video from the XL1. But with the the, um, the toaster, you could have like multiple video camera inputs or multiple video sources, and you could live switch between them. And it was huge. The, the, like the fact that you could do this on a Commodore Amiga computer was mind blowing. You could have like an entire video switching setup for like way under ten thousand dollars. And at the time, to get that quality of video switching, like it, the big networks had had stuff like that, and it would cost like over a hundred thousand. I'm like, I'm not exaggerating. My friend was an editor at ABC at the time, and their switchers couldn't even do what the toaster did, and their switchers cost over a hundred k. So the video toaster was like this really revolutionary um, piece of video equipment that went inside an Amiga 2000. Then there were, it, it also had something amazing called Lightwave 3D, which was a 3D modeling and rendering program. It had like a paint program where you could paint. So it was a bundle of graphics programs as well as being a video switcher. But the main thing that it was, was a video switcher. And people will tell you that it's an editing 
it's a piece of editing hardware for the Amiga. It's not true. It's a video switcher. Like, you don't do nonlinear editing with a toaster. Later on, the same company, NewTek, came out with something called a video flyer, and that was nonlinear editing. The toaster is just a switcher. So, um, yeah, and so Dana Carvey's brother uh, worked at NewTek. Uh, Tim Jennison is the guy who, who invented it. And Dana Carvey's brother uh, worked at New Tech, so he used to wear um, a, a New Tech video toaster t-shirt. He even wore it in Wayne's World because uh, his brother worked there. Um, so I hope I hope that explanation was like good enough. Electronics says it was super expensive to do Genlock stuff back in the day. One of the only other things around that came that close was the Quantel paint box. Yeah, and like I couldn't like, even. At like six or seven grand, right, for a total toaster setup, even though it was amazing and way cheaper than something that cost a hundred thousand um, dollars. I couldn't afford it, you know. My, I, I got to beg my dad to buy me Amiga stuff, so I was able to get a Genlock. I had a cheaper Genlock than this one, I had a Rock Gen, but this is a, a later version, a Super Gen. This is the one I always dreamed of, and this you could like almost do, you could almost do video toaster like stuff, but it wasn't, wasn't as cool as a toaster. Yeah, Magic Pockets, exactly. Is an awesome remix, right? But does it toast bread? Nope. Now, Paul, how's it going, dude? Great to see you. The video toaster does not toast bread. Um, one of these days, I'll, I do have a video toaster, and one of these days, I don't have it set up though. And uh, one of these days, I will set up my toaster, and we'll do we'll do a video about it for for the guru for sure. Um, so I, later versions, so it originally came out for the 2000, and then the late, the last version of the toaster was the toaster 4000. So I I have a toaster for that. I have a toaster and a 4000, so I can make a, a toaster 4000. I just I have to set it up. It was my, the toaster was always like my dream. I always wish I could have had one back in the day. Um, there's also yeah. A famous like spokes model for New Tech, the company that made the toaster. Her name was Kiki Stockheimer. She still works for New Tech, and New Tech is still in business. I actually know them, and uh, she she was like an iconic image uh, for Amiga. I, I, so at least here in the states, I, I don't know if you guys know Kiki over in Europe, but she was like iconic. She went to all the Amiga shows and demoed the toaster. She was definitely an icon of Amiga. Is mad you look forward to a video on the toaster i should prioritize that right i should the thing is i don't have a working i have a toaster like i said but i have to set it all up <laughs> i just inherited one recently that's why we haven't done one yet i don't know how to pronounce your name i'm sorry judgy Pella, you're, there's like three Finnish dudes here. Amigo is mega popular in Finnish. I know, man. Akma Finn is from Finland. Air Yuri is from Finland. Maybe you're from Finland as well. Some really good peeps, man. Air, Air Jerry is the man. And Akma Finn, those are some two awesome dudes. So I got to get to Finland one day. Amix is asking, still some local TV stations use Video Toaster? I heard about it, but maybe you know more. So while Amix brings up a really, really good point, um, Video Toaster was used extensively in like the local cable access channels. Uh, because it was affordable and tons of the local cable systems had the video toaster they also used it for something called the preview guide so this is like you know before you could just google what time something was going to be on tv you could actually turn to like channel 12 and it would just be this thing called the preview guide and it would show you like it was almost like a tv guide showing you like what was going to be on what channel what time and it kind of scrolled up and that was all done with the video toaster and the, the coolest thing is sometimes the amigo would crash and you get a guru meditation so you turn on your tv and you'd see a guru meditation and you'd be like yeah they're using Amigas. <laughs> um, and so, but Amix, there's no local TV station that still uses a video toaster, as far, as far as I know. I mean, maybe there's like one hidden away somewhere, but no, not that I know of. Electron, I actually think there's still a few cable stations using a toaster. I don't know, man. It would be, it'd be tough. It'd be tough. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's one somewhere in the States, but I'd be, I'd be very surprised if there's more than one. <laughs> the Robo CD, yeah, baby. We'll have to do something with the toaster. Maybe I'll, I'll, we'll have to do something with the toaster. Anyway, I think, unfortunately, that's about it for today, everyone. We got a lot accomplished, though. I'm psyched with this animation. Uh, I, I found the video that I'm going to play for the exhibit. And, uh, yeah, that about does it. This channel deserves a mega host from you. Well, I'm about to, I'm about to bounce off. 
Juji. I'm about to bounce off. I hope uh, Juji. <laughs> thanks, Electron. Yeah, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out today, man. It's just been, it's been like super awesome hanging out with everyone. I'm glad we finished the animation. So, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to make a copy of it as well. So I'm going to make a copy of it and put it on my compact flash card as a backup because I know kids are going to be coming up and playing with the Amiga. Um, so I don't want them to like erase my animation by accident because I know I would. I've almost erased it a few times as I was making it. <laughs> um, Pierre, I, I will definitely see you Saturday. You got to come by our booth. Juji, I'll be sure, man. Yeah, you know, I, unfortunately, I don't stream regularly. Like I, I stream once a week usually here on Twitch. And I don't have a regular stream schedule because I've got a regular job, <laughs> and my job is uh, doesn't have a regular schedule, so I just kind of stream when I can. I usually end up streaming on Tuesdays, but this week I'm working Tuesday through Friday, right? So that's why I'm streaming on a Monday today. Um, let's see who else. Speaking of hosts, let's see who else is streaming. Let's see if we can raid somebody. Um, who else? Any of my are any of my friends on? None of my friends are on right now. You're welcome. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. Once I even streamed on the stream, right? Buzzbrain, thanks for hanging out, man. And everyone, thanks for watching today. Thanks for hanging out. It's... I raid yourself and do another stream. <laughs> That's a good one, Hastemaker. Um... Oh, yeah, this one's so good. Who's... You can... Oh man, so new decade stream PC. So here's, you know what I think I'll do? I usually try and stream someone who's smaller than me to try and help them out, get them some more followers. Today, I don't, my only choice is to stream people who are bigger than me. So um, we could, I'm torn between raiding the Future Man Gaming or the Andy Social Network. They're both great streamers. I subscribe to Future Man. He's streaming SNES Classics on his brand new PC. And uh, Andy Social Network is streaming Sonic the Hedgehog on the on the Mega Drive. Alexander. I think what I'll do... Alright, so what I want to do, guys, I want to... Can you guys whisper me all the, um, the, the friends that you are um, suggesting to me? Would you mind doing that? And I'll add them to my friends list because I, I can't see them right now. And then I'll definitely do a raid on them uh, my next stream. But I, I think I'm going to raid the future man just because I, we tried to do, raid him last time. He was doing an IRL stream walking around New York. And I actually um, raided him the same time Co Carnage did. So I, we didn't really understand. So we'll try raiding him one more time. <laughs> it, might, it might not be the best stream ever, uh, the best raid ever, but we'll... We'll give Future Man a raid. He's, he's a very talented streamer, full time. Sonic, Andy's. Oh, you know not. You want? want to do? You guys want to raid raid the Andy Social Network instead? I. Andy is awesome though. Ms. Matt, it was a pleasure. Always great having you too. Yeah, no more chilies. Be careful. All right. Well, we'll we'll just. I want to because um, my last Future Man raid failed. I kind of want to make up for it, and then I want to. If you guys could really um, whisper me some of your friends, I would love to follow some more people here on Twitch and meet some new people. So I'll do that. The beast is back. Exactly. Electron, you, you vote for Future Man because you've seen me host Andy a few times. Yeah, I do host him. All right. Well. We'll, uh, we'll go. Future Man's a very talented streamer. He streams modern games as well, but he's streaming in the retro directory right now, which is cool. But he's also he does really cool DJ streams. Like he he hosts um, DJs here in New York, and he's in New York. He lives near me, so we're kind of gonna become friends in real life. Hopefully, um, we've talked to each other a couple times, and uh, he's he like he pushes the envelope of streaming. He's got this awesome like streaming backpack, and he walks around New York City doing like super quality streams. So I really like what Future Man does. Uh, right now, he's just playing 
some SNES games, but he does some really, really cool stuff. So I will try and read Future Man Gaming. It's good to go out with some Shadow of the Beast 2 music. I love it. Uh, let me go back to my stream. Channel. Let's go to my channel. There I am. We'll give Future Man a little raid. And then I'll, I'll not, thanks guys, I'll, I'll uh, check out all your friends and I'll follow them as well. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. It's been awesome. I'm very excited about the animation that we created. I'm super psyched for VCF East. Don't forget, if you're in the New York City area this weekend, we got VCF East coming up. It's a vintage computer festival, all kinds of vintage computers. My buddy Anthony and I are holding down the Amiga. We got our Amiga Genlock exhibit coming up. So if you want more information about Vintage Computer Festival East, the address is vcfed.org. Go check it out. It's going to be a good time. If you want to know when I stream, always best to follow me here. and Also follow me on Twitter. I am um, at the Guru Meditate on Twitter, the Guru Meditation on Facebook. And of course, uh, youtube.com slash the Guru Meditation is the Amiga YouTube channel I do with my buddy Anthony. And I think that sums it up. I think that sums it up. That is a great, that is a great tune, right guys? And again, thanks to everyone for hanging out today. I had an absolute pleasure hanging out with all of you. Let's go to the hot tub and Amiga forever. <laughs>